Hey, what is up, everybody? We're hello, back. Hello. hello, everybody. What's going on? Apologize for the little delay. We were getting some technical issues sorted out. Always a technical issue that has to happen before we do these streams. But always. It's always the case. Technology is never on your side, but we're here, and we know a ton of you guys are here. I'm going to go down here real quick just to address some of these people. Um, What's going on to everybody that has commented already in the stream that has been here? We got Walter. As you guys can see, I, I, changed, I changed my background colors for the Oscars. Nerd, Nikki Lloyd, AJ Pat. What's up, AJ? Um, yes, we got Amari in here. We also got Daniel. We got Falcon B, Trav Max. Good Trav to see Max. all of you guys in here. No, no, I don't want Max Joseph. I want Ryan O'Toole. No, no. Good to see all you guys in here for sure. Good We're very excited. Guys. guys, if you haven't yet already, if you're tuned on in here, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Let's get it going in here. If you're new to the channel for the very first time, welcome. Yes. Um, Critic Insider, what's up? Kana, what's going on? Good to see you guys in here. Um, guys, it's Oscar night. We are about 20 minutes away from the awards. Um, right now, they got David Rubin, the Academy of Motion Pictures Art and Science Director, talking right now. It's still the pre-show. We got Cody LaRoche, Network 98. Yeah. Good to see you guys. But, uh, guys, we're just going to be chilling for the next 20 minutes until the awards show begins. I see Leslie Odom in the background. Yeah, he just performed his Speak Now song from One Night in Miami. Very, very cool. But, guys, we kind of want to address these comments here, I guess, before we yeah, uh, go in let's here. Go ahead and uh, so we got Yankee 88 mentioned about Carrie Mulligan. I know she's nominated tonight. Ryan, she have any shot? Um, she is my – pick for the best actress oscar for sure uh she has a great shot of winning and of course walter's bringing up chadwick bozeman definitely miss him i still have him winning tonight uh, i think that oscars won't miss up that opportunity Absolutely. however um anthony hopkins is maybe the one that could jump in yeah I'll, some people have him winning possibly yeah. pulling an upset i don't call it an upset he's definitely the runner-up but yeah. i do think they're gonna give it to chadwick so but, disney sorry I will give you guys my rundown of my predictions after we address these comments. Uh, so Onward and Soul, the only two movies you've seen. Um, I've probably seen a few more than that, but I'm excited for the animated category, even though it's pretty predictable this year for sure. Uh, about time, like I suspect an upset win for Sir Anthony Hopkins for Best Actor, as much of the predictions have Chadwick Boseman winning. So AJ's yeah. going with... Hopkins there for sure. As much as I'd love to see Minari win Best Picture, I predict Nomadland will take the prize. I believe that's what Ryan has as well. Yep. Best Actress is really tough to predict. Either Carrie Mulligan, Viola Davis, or Frances McDormand. Judas and the Black Messiah was incredible, Ryan. I know you love that movie, and it's still one of your favorite movies of the year. Absolutely it is, yep. Yes. Uh, Daniel just finished watching Mank. I see you're getting ready for those Oscars nice. tonight nice. for sure. Um, Kaluuya for supporting actor win. Uh, seems like that's most likely the case here. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Hey, Yankees asking you, Ryan, what is your favorite best picture winner of all time? Um, favorite best picture winner of all time. Um, that's a really good question. Um, I would possibly say The Departed, Martin Scorsese. Um, I'm a big Scorsese fan, the crime Boston movie fan. Uh, yeah, The Departed would be the one. Uh, the Parasite, that's also another really good one. Um, and then what is your favorite best lead actor winner of all time? Uh, best lead actor winner of all time would probably be Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood. We got Vinny Conrad. Where's Ryan? We're here, guys. A little bit this late, but we're here. We're here. Which movie is best? Is the best cinematography? So Ryan's going to go through all his predictions right now. Yes. As yeah. we go down here. And what's up, Vinny? Good to see you. Just want to see some people that we miss. Thank you for liking the video, Falcon. Yes. I hope thank you, you all can do that while you're here. Really, really appreciate it. Get more people in here tonight watching with us. But Ryan, I guess while we do have some time here to kill, um, let's see here, guys. Let's go through your predictions, Ryan, real quick. And you guys <laughs> can throw them in too. And I'll be ad addressing the chat every now and then when I can. Yeah, so let's start from the bottom to the top. So, best visual effects. Let's start with that one. All right, uh, so the nominees were Love and Monsters, The Midnight Sky, Mulan, The One and Only Ivan, and Tenet. I think Tenet should and will win. Yeah. I mean, that's no competition. I think Tenet had the best effects last year. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, for sure. 
Film editing, The Father, Nomadland, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Trial of the Chicago 7. I think Sound of Metal should win. Should win what? Let's just go with what you think is going to win. Don't go with should and would. Just go with who's going to win. Let's just go with that. I think what will win is The Trial of the Chicago 7. Mm, okay. Costume design, I don't I don't want to do that one. But you got to predict you got to you got to do them all. Costumes, I'll go Emma. Interesting. But I don't think that's happening. I think it'll be Ma Rainey's Black Bottom winning oh. makeup and hairstyling and costumes. I think Ma Rainey will win makeup and hairstyling. That's a no-brainer. Cinematography, I think Nomadland will take that one. Uh, production design should be Mank. I think Mank will take that. Sound, definitely Sound of Metal. Do you think Sound of Metal is going to win a lot tonight? I want to ask you that, Ryan, personally. It looks like it'll definitely win that sound category, but do you see it winning anywhere else, or do you think it's only going to get one, maybe two wins tonight? I think it'll only get one sound for Sound. Okay. That's my prediction. Is that is that upset you a little bit? That does upset me. It's one of my favorite films last year. I think Riz Ahmed is amazing. The editing is amazing. That oh, one. and there's Chloe Zhao. There is Chloe Zhao. But I think we'll only win one tonight. Being interviewed by Little Row Howery. Yeah, he's hosting that event. Original song, I think it will be Speak Now from One Night in Miami, Leslie Odom. Original score will be Soul. Definitely Soul. Uh, what's next? International film, definitely another round. Animated film, uh, Soul. For sure. Yeah. Adapted screenplay, I think, will be Nomadland, but I want the father to win. Original screenplay, I think this is a uh, promising young woman. I think it'll go in that direction, but don't be surprised if Trial wins. Supporting actress, I think this is definitely Yu Jung Yoon from Minari. Supporting actor, Daniel Kaluuya. Next. Best actress, I think, will be competitive, but I'm going to go Carrie Mulligan, promising young woman. Uh, let's see. Nicholas Lloyd said Mank was okay, but n underwhelming most of the time. AJ Pat says Sound of Metal could be winning for best sound and probably best film editing. Interesting. Interesting. That'll be interesting if it does win. But again, I'm going to stick to my only one win for Sound of Metal. Yo, what's going on, Zachary? Good to see you, buddy. Zachary, what Thank up? You Good for being to here. see you. Good to see you here. Best actor? It definitely, I think Chadwick will be taking that. And uh, best director? Chloe Zhao, who was just interviewed, Nomadland, and Nomadland, I think, will win Best Picture. At the end, it'll be a Nomadland Oscars. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting for sure here. So we have a commercial break right now, but um, this is very exciting, guys. Very exciting. much waiting there's, for there's, this. There's 13 people in here and only six likes. Come on, guys. Let's get <laughs> up those likes. Come on, if you haven't yet already, let's get it going. Spread the love. Um, it's going to be a long stream. Um, remember when we did this last year? It was one of my most viewed videos on my channel. So we definitely had to do this again. Appreciate the love and support. We're going to talk Oscars and movies all night. And you will got you guys will get to see my reactions on what wins and what doesn't win. So it'll be a lot of fun. It is 7.46. The ceremony starts in less than 15 minutes. So. Sorry, it's very cold up here. So I had to throw on a sweatshirt here real quick. Um, but see, Onward was good. Soul was incredible. And Mulan sucked. Yeah, Mulan, I think a lot of people were expecting it to get a lot more love than it did. Mm -hmm. It got a few. But it did get a few... Uh, nominations in there for sure um let's see zachary's asking you a question ryan he's asking um are you in the room where you shoot your videos i am not in the room where i shoot my videos it's in that room <laughs> <laughs> we're at, yeah with that empty door that is where we film in there but this is our little foyer area where we get to check out movies on Watch our big movies. <laughs> 4k tv TV B9, what's going on? Good to see you, TV B9. What up, TV B9? Good supporter of the channel. has been around for a while. Thank you for being here, man. We really appreciate it. Uh, definitely, guys, share this around. Um, if you got movie fans, definitely share it around. We want to get as many people in here with us tonight watching. We appreciate the 14 of you being here and supporting us for sure. Uh, we're going to be reacting to the whole Academy Awards tonight. 
Also, we're going to be maybe doing a little post show too, depending on how many people hear some of our reactions to the big things that go down tonight. Um, but we're really excited to uh, be doing this as this has been a much anticipated um, award show. Uh, I wish Onward wins best animated feature. Soul was super overrated in my opinion. Interesting. 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 I've not heard too much of that. So that's interesting for sure. Um, let's see here. Um, I wish the Invisible Man and Soul and Tenet were all nominated for Best Picture. Yeah, I think Soul definitely would be a choice I would want to see in the Best Picture category. Um, I would also say Another Round, too. I love that movie. Um, yeah, I get Invisible Man as well, but I guess they went with what they wanted to go with. Oh, this is interesting. You see what the Disney nerd said? I don't say any. I don't see any snacks for the show, guys. Oh, sir. Thank you for the reminder, by the way. We yeah. appreciate it. I'm going to go get the snacks in a second. We got we got, we got, got 10 minutes. We're yeah. okay. We're okay. Let's see. We're good. We're good. Um, I want to make sure I miss any comments here. Maybe we should have gotten a mouse to go through these a little bit easier. Um, <laughs> Vinny's saying, where's the nachos? Yeah, man. Uh. We got to get, get the nachos. Um, let's see here. Oh, her, there is her. She's saying, uh, fight for you. From Judas and the Sorry Black Messiah. Um, my, my mom says hello to you guys. Hello, Walther's mom. Hello, Walther's Good to see mom. you. <laughs> uh, any chicken wings on standby? No chicken wings tonight. We'll show you guys what snacks we do have. Got Chinese food. Um, <laughs> Austin Burke will win best actor tonight. Austin Burke should win any award that he's nominated for. He's incredible. Um, I don't think, don't know if there's going to be a tie for or or a win for best actor between Sir Anthony Hopkins and Chadwick Boseman. I don't know if they would tie that, would they? No. Has that ever happened in Oscar history? I'm trying no. to remember. Um, the king, um, the king of Staten Island should have gotten more nominations. Agreed. Yeah. Um, who doesn't love Chinese food? We had Chinese food for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. I guess we could yeah. say. Um, Soul. Felt too much like a critics movie, meaning that it felt like Pixar was trying hard to please the critics, but it didn't make a great family movie. I agree with you. Kids will have a hard time relating to it. It's definitely more of one of their Adult mature film. uh, films for like people in their teens and early adult age like us. So it really related to us. But I agree. It's definitely not one of their more family friendly movies. I would agree with that for sure. Um, let's see here. Well, TVB9, I hope you can finish all your classwork for sure. Um, Cody, I'm hoping Viola wins best action network network. I'm with you. That's my pick. Um, I'm going with Viola Davis. I just really like her. Um, th- I'm going with that, but you're going with, I, I mean, Viola is great in Ma Rainey's blog bottom. Um, I think the direction will go towards Carrie Mulligan. Though. Gotcha. Um, and then soul was amazing. Cheez-Its are also amazing. Hey, Cheez-Its Isaiah. is a profile. So, Those are delicious. I hope you got some Cheez-Its on standby tonight. <laughs> I'm going to go grab the snacks. Um, we're going to – obviously, we don't want to play this right now. They're playing a song first off. So we're going to have the TV on in the background. Obviously, we can't show it because of copyright issues. But um, we'll try to yeah, anytime have the audio going. Anytime there's playing, we're going to mute it because we don't want copyright. Yep, and then once the show starts, we're going to put the audio on, and we're going to ask you guys how it sounds, if it's too loud, too soft, all those things. So <laughs> Even if it is too soft, it's still going to get I'll let you address them while I go get our snacks for tonight. I think maybe it's more comfortable if I move up so you guys can see me more. I want my. That's a little too close. All right. And our setup isn't the best here, guys, so we apologize. But um, let's see here. Um, let's see. Oh, we'll let Ryan answer that question, Zach, when he comes back, because I'm not the most, um, adapt in that genre. What's up? Where do you need to go? Oh, you got it? Yeah. Well, Ryan, you can read your comments from your phone, right? Yeah. So you just do, just do that. Okay. Yep. Um, I'll let you answer Zach's question though. Uh, Zach. Thoughts on Olivia Coleman and Amelia Clark being cast in Secret Invasion? I think it's great. Um, obviously, I love Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones as Daenerys. Uh, Olivia Coleman as well. Love both of them. I think they're going to be great. 
Awesome. And then Isaiah with the follow-up behind you. What do you guys think of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? So Ryan has all his reviews on his channel for every single episode. So yeah, I reviewed the whole series. You can go check it out. I love the series. I really do. I really enjoyed it. I had issues with it. It's not perfect. Um, WandaVision is definitely the superior show, but I really, really enjoyed the show. Yeah, awesome. Also, oh, the last time the event happened was on the 41st Academy Awards when Katherine Hepburn won an Oscar for The Lion in the winter, and it was tied for a Barbara Streisand for Funny Girl. So it has happened before, so yeah. I guess anything could happen. There could be a tie between Carrie Mulligan and Viola Davis or Frances McDormand tonight. That would be interesting for sure. And we got Jay Vader's here. Hey, uh, yeah, he told me he was going to be here. What's up, Jay? Jay, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Long thanks time for no see. You. Thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. We appreciate it, guys. We want to show you the snacks we have planned out for tonight. And yes, I bought these we for got my sponsors, song. guys. It's a sponsor by Sour Patch Watermelon. Um, we got some, we got some, we got some potato chips, some Ripple potato chips for tonight. I'm going to be sharing. Very level potato chips. Um, let's see here. What else we got? We're also sponsored by Check Mix Muddy Buddies. We got buddies. some Muddy Buddies here. These peanut butter ones. They're delicious. Highly recommend. Um, oh, this is a classic. This is definitely a classic right here. Cheddar we got fries. some cheddar fries. Can't go wrong with some cheddar fries here. Um, ooh, one of my favorite candies. You got some peanut M&Ms in there. Um, good choice, if you ask me. Well, we got some snacks tonight. Uh, <laughs> we got... We got Reese sticks Dang. in here, some Reese sticks, and to top it all off, honestly, my maybe my personal favorite candy. It's a tie with Starbursts. Swedish fish. Swedish fish. Classic. Um, yeah. So we got some snacks on deck for tonight for sure. Um, I think honestly, I might <clears throat> sit down here. We're about five minutes lie. away. It seems like they're starting up the ceremony very soon. Might start. Sitting down here. <laughs> Jay, can you pass me a Dr. Pepper? Jay, I don't have any Dr. Pepper. I don't like it. So. And I'm not drinking anything at soda at the moment, so I don't have any. But yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Let's see how this sounds. Can you guys let us know how that sounds? Can you hear the TV at all? Let us know if it's yeah. too, loud, it too loud, too low, or, or perfect. Let us know. Because, again, we don't want to get copyright. Let us know how it sounds right there. Let us know. Can you even hear it at all? Like, let us know. That'd be nice to know. Definitely let us know. The guys. Oscars. We're watching that. Oh, this is oh, a trailer for something. A trailer for Cruella. Too low. Turn it up a bit. Okay. This is Cruella. So how about there? How about there? I put it up a little bit. Let us know how it sounds. I this is say, coming out this year, right, Cruella? Cruella looks good. This month, right? May, yeah. Oh, next month. Okay. It looks pretty good. Well, maybe, hopefully, is it coming? Yep. I, I should be getting... I, I definitely ask for will a be putting in a screener request for it. All right, well, guys, he's saying it's too low, so... Um, Palm Springs should have gotten more nominations. Yeah, the Andy Samberg movie, right? Yeah, Palm Springs. If that was going to get a nomination, definitely original screenplay. Yeah. Um, yeah Another Springs. Cruella trailer. Yep. Another one mm -hmm. for sure. got to promote the movie. You know, Disney. They got to do what they got to do. Um, we'll see what people are saying if this is too loud or if this Jay is good. Is eating a muffin. Nuts. You know, why not, Jay? Why not? Muffin Just eat what delicious. you want, man. <laughs> Um, I want to just see if it's too loud. Maybe I can just look myself. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Anytime there's a commercial, we can mute it. Yeah. Wait, let me hear. Yeah. Jay, you're outside? <laughs> no, William, I didn't get an Oscar nomination, unfortunately, which I was upset by. Definitely let us know the guys. Oh, this is a trailer for something. I think it sounds pretty good, so I think we'll go with this. <laughs> no, Jay, I'll let you freeze. I'm just <laughs> I think it sounds good. Here. <laughs> I mean, Man, well, Ryan, you didn't get any Oscar noms tonight? That's no, I was upset though. 
Sonic the Hedgehog should have been nominated for Best Visual Effects. Yeah, I know some people were interested by that. Yeah. I uh, think Invisible Man should have been. Hamilton should have got more love. Hey, you know, that would have been nice. But again, it's not a movie. It's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> movie Mady and Nick, what's up, buddy? Good to see you in here. Yes. Guys, we got two minutes. Two minutes. Um, oh, we got nice shirt comment from Isaiah. He's excited for the Batman as well. Thank you. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah, I think we got the volume at a good spot here. Oh, we got Zachary with a nice comment in here. I want to thank you, Ryan, for your hard work you put into your videos. I've been watching your channel since Infinity War, and I've liked all your videos since then. Why, thank you, man. That's very nice of you. Very kind. I mean, uh, Ryan and I are very aware of the people that are here all the time in the comment section and the lives, just hanging out with us. So we're definitely aware you've been around for a while, Zach, and mm -hmm. we appreciate your support, and um, it means a lot. I know Ryan's name is on the channel, but... I definitely pay attention also. So thank you very much, man. We appreciate that. Um, Ryan. Oh, wait. Jay. Not yet, Jay. Not, Not yet. Jay. <laughs> Ryan, what if Taco Bell made an MCU movie? Wow. Wow. Um, a lot of marketing. I, I mean, it would get a lot of money, uh, lots of marketing, <laughs> cameos. Uh. Best YouTube channel should be a category. Well, Jay, I don't know why you'd want one because you wouldn't be anywhere you near get, it. You oh! get snubbed every year. I'm kidding. Oh! Sorry. sorry. I, yep, I'm I did sorry. it. Love you, Jay. Love uh, you, Jay. I think I've been here since 2019. <laughs> Daniel, appreciate that. Any collabs coming soon, Ryan? Well, I just did a collab like an hour ago on Jay's channel. <laughs> uh, Q&A with the legend uh legendary celebrity by the name of Sean Chan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little off topic, but do you think 2021 so far is better movies than last year? It's too early. It's way too early to say that. Um, a little too early. A little too early. Oh, I think we're, we're here. We are. It's, it's, it's time. We got Miss uh, Regina King Regina that gets King. snubbed. She did. Yes. Michael Haynes says, hey, I was, was a here a previous year. I enjoyed it. Glad I found the stream to join you guys this year. Michael, appreciate it so much. Yeah. Thank you for coming back very much. All right. We're going to watch for a little bit. This is on now, guys. If this is too loud, let us know. I don't know. This music, I don't want to get copyrighted. So let's yeah, have yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this music is, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. Is this an actual live event? Yeah. I would assume so, right? I'm not doing it virtual. Sorry, guys. We just want to make sure we don't get anything no here. No copyright. They're, it's in a train station. I know that. Mm. They're doing it in a train station this year. I did see that. Regina King looks great. Mm -hmm. um, she's walking in with an Oscar. She has won before for an Oscar. That's for sure. Could talk. Yep. That's probably what her Oscar is from right there. She's holding. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, it is a live. There she is. It's very small, but yep, they are here. Mm. There's Viola. There's Riz. Don't fall. Don't fall, Regina. They're live. Daniel Davis, what's going on? Good to see you. What Appreciate up? What up? Good to see you. Oh, Paul Racy. See Stephen Yoon. It has been mm -hmm. quite a year, and we are still smack dab in the middle of it. We are mourning the loss of so many, and I have to be honest. If things had gone differently this past week in Minneapolis... I might have traded in my heels for marching boots. <laughs> now, yep, they're obviously you know, addressing. Dad, a lot of you people at home want to reach for your remote when you feel like Hollywood is preaching to you. But as a mother of a black son, I know the fear that so many live with. It does look like a movie, Michael. I agree, right? This looks different. That. Yeah. Okay. Now, like all of you here, 
I've loved movies for as long as I can remember. And tonight, I'm here not only as a presenter, but my film directorial debut, One Night in Miami, is also... It didn't get best picture. Right? It is also Daniel. in three categories. So, I am very proud and excited to be here. And yes, we are doing it maskless. Yes. <laughs> you are probably asking, how are they able to do that? Well, think of this as a movie set. An Oscars movie with a cast of over 200 nominees. People have been vaxxed, tested. Right, you noticed that too, right? <laughs> and we are following all of the rigorous protocols that got us back to work safely. So, just like on a movie set, when we're rolling, masks off. And when we're not rolling, masks on. All right? That's how we do. Okay. Interesting. Tonight, you are going to meet a creative family of storytellers. You'll hear tales of how they fell in love with movies and how that movie love connects them to the She's holding the original the screenplay movie. award, so I'm guessing they're starting with original screenplay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> either an original story or one adapted from previous work. And after so much isolation, we wanted to get to know our nominees. So here are a few things we learned. The writer-director of Judas and the Black Messiah, Shaka Kings. I, uh, that's my cousin. Hmm. It's not, but yes. in my head, he is. <laughs> His first movie job was an extra on a film called 30 Days, directed by Jamal Joseph, a former Black Panther. And for co-writer co Will Burson, being the office manager for John Leguizamo's Lower East Side films, stoked the fire in him to tell his stories. And for co-writer Kenny Lucas, watching City of God in college inspired him to be a filmmaker. City of God. A PhD it's in good. philosophy. And his brother Keith Lucas was in law school when he realized his love of film. Lee Isaac Chung, writer of Me Lee Isaac Chung. whose first film job was producing educational films in New York. Remember What's your Steve pick for this? For uh, original screenplay. Uh, standing up wide -eyed in the movie theater. The I did pick trial. Time. That is so adorable. Okay. <laughs> oh, and Emerald Fennell, girl, you took time off from playing Camilla Bowles in The Crown to write, produce, direct, promising young woman while you were seven months pregnant during a 23-day shoot. Wow. Girl, <laughs> you earned the title of that film. <laughs> Darius Martyr supported his 10-year journey to make the sound of metal with a sushi catering business in Vermont. His co-writer brother, Abraham Martyr, was a musician and composer and co-writer. Derek C. and Francis' first job was a friend's get-rich-quick scheme filming dog spaces on, to put on coffee cups called puppy mugs. Derry, let me get one of those mugs. <laughs> it, it, yes, and Aaron Sorkin, writer-director of Trial of the Chicago 7, he started, yes, Aaron Sorkin. he do. started his career in movies by ripping tickets <clears throat> and making the popcorn in his neighborhood theater. See, you never know. The guy serving the popcorn could be the next Aaron Sorkin. You never know. <laughs> And here we go. First award of the night. Whoa! Okay. The guild winner won. All right. All right. Promising young woman takes it. There you go. Emerald Fennell wins original screenplay. There you go. First award of the night. This is reminiscent of the first Oscars in 1901 and resembles the table setting. Cool. A little throwback. I didn't because I just didn't think this would ever happen. Wow. I'm in trouble with Steven Soderbergh. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to take him to be cross with me. Um, oh my God, he's so heavy and he's so cold. Right. <laughs> so the only speech I ever wrote was when I was 10. And I, Zachary's I, one for one. Ryan, you missed. <laughs> useful from it, but 
but yeah, unfortunately, mostly thanks Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell, who was my very uh, supportive husband. Um, unfortunately, uh, he hasn't been as, as much a part of my life as I hoped, and so that speech is not that useful. But all I can say is trying very hard not to cry, which is very difficult as an English person, because I don't cry ever, ever. Um, this film was made by the most incredible people in the world who made it in 23 days. 23 days? Their complete genius and love and humor to it. And I have so many people to thank. I feel mortified that I'm here by myself when it's not just my job at all. I want to thank Karen Mulligan for being not only the most talented person in the world, but the kindest and the funniest. Um, I want to thank the producers for standing behind this film always and, you know, never giving up and um, lucky chap, focus, full nation, the cast and the crew, the greatest in the world, um, the kindest in the world. They just made me look good. And again, I'm just so grateful. Finally, my family, mum, dad, Coco, oh, um, my husband, Chris. Um, <clears throat> oh, come on, come on. Our son, who did not arrive until a couple of weeks after shooting, thank God, because I was crossing my legs all the way through. So thank you all so much. <laughs> Steve and I hope that was all right. <laughs> Congratulations. Very nice. Very nice. Congrats to yep, so we got everyone saying nice, nice, nice. nice, nice. Um, I had Judas predicted for that one. Expected trial to win because of Sorkin. Um, and hey, Disney nerd with the super chat here. Just because you both are awesome. Disney, we appreciate that. Thank you so much. Really, really, really do. Thank you. Adapted screen by now. I predicted Nomadland. That okay. perspective drew her to Nomadland. Ramin Barani, nominated, nominated for the White Tiger, paid his way to his own films, <laughs> working mm. as a truck driver, a bartender, and a telemarketer. Ooh, telemarketing. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> yikes. Uh, Kim Powers, his own play. One night in Miami, he adapted it. Now, there are some fun facts in this teleprompter, but I'm going to go off script here. This was his first screenplay. Before Kemp was a playwright, he was a journalist. And one of his favorite films is Animal House, which is where he heard Sam Cooke for the first time. How about that? Cool. Florian Zeller, adapting his play The Father, saw the movie Rain Man. Oh wow, so they're not there. Interesting. That allows us to understand Alzheimer's through the eyes of those living it. His collaborator, Christopher Hampton, was raised in Cairo, Egypt, and his movie love stems from his father taking him to the movies three times a week. I bet tickets weren't thirteen dollars a piece back then. Okay, here we go. Sasha Baron Cohen, Dan Mazur, Dan Swimer, oh Eric Robinette, <laughs> Anna Friedman, Anthony Jesus Hyde, Christ, Borat, Peter Venom, and Nina Pedraza. Wow. Twenty five there's like twenty seven writers for that movie. Why is he in Australia? Hmm. That was an effort. <laughs> Here we go. And the Oscar goes to Christopher Hampton and Florian Zell. The father! Oh, no! The father! The father comes in! I said there might have been an upset. Wow. The father. Interesting. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. It's such a great joy. It's such a great honor. Father wins adaptive and screenplay. And, and this award with Christopher Hampton. We have uh, worked together for years, and I want to thank him for being such a great writer. Wow. A friend. And I have to wow. thank everyone involved in, in The Father and everyone who helped me to, to make that film, uh, that script becoming a film. Uh, my producers, of course, Simon Friend, who first produced the play in London. Wow. Great David wow, Bruce, wow, yeah, no. There's two they, winners that weren't necessarily projected to win. So it was a shocker, yeah. The, the, Sony Classics family, uh, Michael, Tom, I mean, I said, don't be surprised if the father wins. Brian, 
There, there we go. Some names <laughs> that I had to mention: uh, Federica, Chris, Andrew, uh, Laurent, Olivier, and so wow. thank you for being mm. so supportive. And, and you love the father too. I like the father, yes. Yeah. And the wonderful cast: Olivia Williams, Olivia Coleman, Rufus Seal, uh, Mark Gatis, Imogen Boots, and of course uh, Anthony Hopkins. I wrote the script for him. Uh, to me, he's he's the greatest, the greatest living actor, and just the wow. idea to work with him was was like a dream and I knew that it was not an easy dream to fulfill because wow. I'm French as you can hear. Yeah, yeah you sounded pretty surprised, Ryan. And, uh, That's what they said right here. I mean yeah, Nomad Land that was a the projected winner. But yeah, I said don't be surprised at the father of where we're going. BK Studios, what's going on? Good to see you. I think I technically predicted the father to win in my original stream. Mm. My inspiration and my desire and my dream so thank you anthony for having said yes to that script and thank you for having uh, given everything to that film your energy your grace and your talent uh sharing that journey with you was the most uh, amazing uh, experience of my life and at last i want to, to thank my my wife uh, marina for supporting me uh with love and patience uh thank you to the academy Congratulations. Uh -huh. My name is Aki A. Colonna, and I'm your Oscars voiceover. When we come back, last year's winner for Best Supporting Actress will Ooh. present Best Supporting Actor. Who won the Oscars? On uh, ABC. Laura Dern. She yep. won. Uh -huh. All right, so we have our first commercial break, as we can see, guys. So, so. yeah, two uh, awards presented right off the bat. Uh, have they ever started with the screenplays before? I think support and actor usually. It's usually, yeah. So that was interesting. So, uh, so uh, original So Casey Mixon, yeah. Casey's mix Mixon's asking who won. Uh, so far, a Promising Young Woman won the original screenplay, which was projected since it won the Guild. An adapted screenplay went to The Father. The Father won the BAFTA. And the guild was given to Borat, too. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Nomadland won the Critics' Choice and all the rest of them. So, so interesting. We have some two screenplay awards been given out. Looks like they're going to do supporting mm -hmm. actor next. Maybe supporting actress right after. We'll see. But so far, two maybe not so projected winners so far. Zachary is asking, what is one MCU movie you want an R-rated version for? I think the R-rated Captain America Winter Soldier could be interesting. I am the I would say Blade. Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah, Marshall Ali for sure. Yeah, and Daniel got both his predictions wrong. Did you get both of yours technically wrong? I got one right, one wrong. So what did you get right? The father. I got the father right. All right, so there you go. One for mm -hmm. one. One two for one for two one for, for Ryan. One, yeah. one for two. Mm. One for two. Um, which is fine and um, dandy. Um, so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see how the rest of these go. Um, it's very cinematic, which I like. It's, it feel it like, definitely feels cinematic, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think they have to do it that way so that they can remain massless while they're filming, but then commercial breaks, they're going to be masked, apparently. So, mm -hmm. um, so Zachary's two for two. That's awesome. Nick had both of his wrong. Um, and Disney Nerd watched Anastasia for the first time today. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, we probably watched that when we were little. But yeah, definitely younger. But when we were watching. But um, yeah. I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see here. I mean, <sighs> I don't know how predictable the night's gonna go, but right. I mean, those two were interesting starts. That's for sure. Here, if they're doing supporting actor. I mean, that's a lock. This next one, right? I mean, this next one, yes. I mean, it's been Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya all the through the award circuit. So it would be very surprising to see that go. Um. Not in that direction, I guess you could say. Um, but I'm really excited, man. The NFL drafts on Thursdays. Anybody else excited for the NFL draft? There's <laughs> Let a us lot know to in the comments. There's a lot to look forward to this week. <laughs> um, I'm just really, really excited. I just saw sports on the commercial, so that's why I brought that up. But um Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Quest Love. No, the Sesame Street. All these commercials, man. Well, let us know some of your bold predictions for the rest. I of love the, the NHL draft. Uh, Jay, 
Did no. <laughs> no. Um, I would not, no. Um, let's see. Bride of the Father, a sweet movie. Uh, glad that I managed to change the predictions to best adapted screenplay at the 11th hour. Knew that the father would win. Well, AJ, you did it in time, so there you go. Congratulations. Well you. done. Well done. <laughs> thank you all 27 of you for being Guys, here. Thank you so much for being here. Hit the like button, hitting the subscribe button. Uh, if you're new here, we got 23 likes. Thank you guys very much. Can we get that to 25? Can we get that? What's to the goal for tonight? Oh, 30 man. plus? At least 40. That would be nice. Why don't we get to 40 likes tonight? We can get to 40. I'm hoping likes. next year's will be better and the Oscars will be back to what they used to be. We all hope so too, Nick. We all hope for the best. You and know? it looks like we're back, so. There's Lord Dern. Laura Dern, she won for Marriage Story last uh, year. That dress, though. <laughs> oh, international. Oh, international, definitely another round. Nonetheless, she's an actor, and she wanted to share with me one of the most extraordinary performances, that of Julietta Messina. Her performance and that film were filled with magic and heart. Jay, show me your best disco move. It's not the words, but the language of cinema itself that transformed <laughs> me forever. I also learned that La Strada was the first film to win the Oscar in this next category. Here are the nominees for best international feature film. This is a long round. <laughs> From Denmark, another round. Amazing movie. Incredible Benjamin. movie. Guys, watch another round with Mads Mikkelsen if you haven't. It's fantastic. This is very long. Let's go. <laughs> it's the best scene in the movie. <laughs> that was long. Better days, directed by Jeff Sunshine. Oh, Jay saw another round. Great. From Romania, Collective, directed by Alexander Manau. Look at her shoulder. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Ooh. It's a good, yeah, Nicholas, he's, yeah, Ryan's recommending another round. It's fantastic. It's on Hulu. Come watch it. From Bosnia and Herzegovina, Corvalis Aida, directed by Yasmila Zivanich. They are not on this list. Did you not hear what they said? Stop the country. We're on the list. We're on the list. We're on the list. Ryan, give Nick a chip. Here you go. <laughs> Here we go. And the Oscar goes to. Another round. There you go. That was very easy. <laughs> I know, right? That was such a long category. Thank you very much. Thanks to the Academy for voting on this film. This is beyond anything I could ever imagine. Except this is something I've always imagined <laughs> since I was five or something. I've been preparing speeches in train stations, at school, in the toilet, and here I am. It's real. It's amazing. 
Wow. Uh, this, this is a film about letting go of control in your life and as I lost control in my own. Ooh. And I want to thank my wife, Helene, sits over here, for being the angel of this project, uh, for guiding me through this very difficult period. Right, it was so long. I want to thank my children, my family, Nana, Anita, Albert, Lily, my screenwriter, Tobias Lindholm, who's my guide and angel in both living and writing. I'm sending you my praises. Uh, it's a lot of people to thank, but I'll, I'll, get, I'll get there. I'm sending my praises to Centropa, Caesar, Caspar, Peter, Feeder, Cornum, all of you. You had so much heart and so much strength at the same time. The crew who threw everything they had in their hands to rescue me. I rescued this film. Um, the investors, agents, <laughs> if only it was that quick, Disney nerd. They have a lot to say. <laughs> Christina Bastikis, Jessica Sykes, Bumbo, they're all there. Cinetic, thank you for showing the bravery of, of investing in a movie that is about four depraved, white, drunk men, basically, who uh, <laughs> teach children to drink as well. I mean, pretty uphills, in my perspective. Uh, those four white men being Mounts Milano, Las Rande, Thomas Polas, my old friend, the whole cast, you were brilliant. Susan, Maria, all of you took out your hearts for this and were brilliant. I want to send a special thank, of course, to Mads Mikkelsen. Hey, Mads Mikkelsen. Yeah, here we are. Mads Mikkelsen. Mads, you gave us your finest. Mm. Not just for the film, but for my daughter as well. And I'll never forget. <sighs> okay, so we wanted to make a film that celebrates life. And uh, <laughs> four days into shooting, the impossible happened. Uh, an accident on a highway took my daughter away. Oh my God. Someone looking into a cell phone. And um, we miss her, and I love her. And, uh, sorry. Oh, my uh, God. Two months before we shot this movie and two months before she died, she was in Africa. She sent me a letter and she just read the script and she was glowing with excitement. She loved oh my God. this and she felt seen by this. And uh, she was supposed to be in this. And if anyone dares to believe that she's here with us somehow, she uh, you'll be able to see her clapping, clapping and, and cheering with us. Wow. Uh, we ended up making this movie for her as her monument. So, Ida, this is a miracle that just happened. And you're a part of this miracle. Maybe you've been pulling some strings somewhere, I don't know, but this one's for you. Thank you very much. Wow. That's awful. Four days into shooting, his yeah. daughter dies. Live life to the fullest, guys. That's awful. Absolutely. It really, really is. You just watched Promising Young Woman right before the Oscars, and you're pulling for Carrie Mulligan. Nice. Um, hoping for Soul. I am too. How is everyone doing with their guesses? Uh, you got that one, so you're two for three, Ryan. Correct, yes. Supporting actor, Daniel Kaluuya. This movie's on Hulu, and I'm watching it once the show is over. There you go. You got Jacob to watch another round. You got to watch, man. It's fantastic. And social justice in their own unique and extraordinary ways. Lakeith Stanfield, Judas and the Black Messiah. Lakeith, with such power, you gave us an experience of what it is when citizens are betrayed by their own country. And while grappling with morality, they must fight to survive. Daniel Kaluuya, Judas, and the Black Messiah. You, you should win or else I'm done watching the show. <laughs> Daniel, I just want to say thank you because with your extraordinary commitment and your endless research, you did, in fact, beautifully get within the man 
and I have been listening to you speak of your inspiration in Denzel Washington's performance in Malcolm X. And just to say how grateful we are for the inspiration you gave us, with not only the role, but the words you shared and the reminder that you can't murder free. Well, Leslie Odom Jr., One Night in Miami. Oh. Leslie! Love Leslie. Leslie, the gorgeous weight of responsibility that you carried in these discussions in and around advancing social justice. It captured our hearts forever, as did your chilling gift of bringing Sam Cook back to us. Thank you. Corey's like, you gotta watch One Night in Miami now. I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. Paul Racy. Woo! Paul Racy. Growing up as a hearing person with deaf parents, I know you made such a tireless commitment to expand the narrowed perspective of uh, deaf characters in film. And with this brilliant performance, you gave us the opportunity to truly understand what inclusivity means. And we are so lucky. Thank you. Well. Ooh. I like these little, I like this little extra thing they're doing. <laughs> the trial of the Chicago Who's in Australia? <laughs> Borat? Sorry. <laughs> With your perfect portrayal of the yippie iconoclast Abby Hoffman, you also imbued your own extraordinary activist instincts. I was stunned, I don't know if anybody else was, that you'd be attracted to playing such a disruptor, and so I'd like you to rock the boat. But that's why they call it acting. <laughs> These are the nominees for best actor in a supporting role. It's a well-rounded group. Yeah. And the Oscar goes to. But I already have the tweet ready. Daniel Kaluuya. There it is. <laughs> Daniel gets it. His if first Oscar. Win, if if he didn't win, I was gonna shut off the ceremony. His first Oscar. <laughs> There you go. His first Oscar. Man. Man. Wow. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I can't be here without your guidance and your protection. I'd like to thank my mom. Thank you so much for pouring into me. What's going on, Infinity War? Good to see you. You give me your factory Good to see you here. <laughs> His mom and love sister back in London. Um, love to my sister, love to my niece, my friends, my family. Everyone I love from London town to Kampala. Um, I'd like to thank my team. Um, incredible support. Bro, we out here. Yo. Yeah. Man. Man. It's good. Come on, Doug. Ryan. Zinzi, Seb, Proximity, everyone at Proximity, Charles King, man, everyone at Macro, Ron, Participant, Nigel, everyone at Warner Brothers, thank you so much for everything you poured into this, everything you poured into this, it's so hard to make a film, and make a film about a man like this, and, and they made it possible, they made it happen. Mm. Um, I share this honor with um, uh, the gift that is the Keith Stanfield, um, the light that is, yeah, yeah. The light that is Dominic Fishback. <laughs> the incredible cast, the incredible crew. Okay. Lucas Brothers are starting a journey. Will Burson. I see, you know, it's, it's so incredible to look around you, to look around you and just go, you're inspired by not only what they do, but who they are. So that's amazing. Chairman Fred Jr. and Mama Kua, thank you so much for allowing us into your life and into your story. Thank you, thank you for trusting us, you know, with your truth. Appreciate you deeply, and it's an honor to, to partner up and, and stand side by side with you. Mm. And to Chairman Fred Hampton, bro, man, man, what a man! Yep, during the breaks, they're wearing masks. Infinity War, yep, yeah, yeah. Yep. A lifetime where he existed, just you know what I mean? 
Still, Ryan, Rose needs to give him those keys. <laughs> right, he's still waiting. He got his Oscar, though. Well, was giving the keys. Give free medical care against all the odds. He showed, he showed me, he told me, him, UP Newton, Bobby Seal. What candy do you party. have down there? They showed me how to love myself. Uh, some Reese's and some M&M's. And they overflowed it to the black community and to other the Reese's. Mm -hmm. And it showed us that the power of union, the power of unity, that when they played divide and conquer, we say unite and ascend. Thank you so much for sharing me myself. And yeah, man. There's so much work to do, guys, and that's on everyone in this room. This ain't no single man job. That's some real. And I look to everyone, every single one of you. You got work to do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna get back to work Tuesday morning because tonight I'm going up. <laughs> we got up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna celebrate life, man. We're breathing. We're walking. It's incredible. It's incredible. Like it's incredible. <laughs> my mom met my dad. They had Well, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, Don Cheadle's there. Hey, look, Brody's there. <laughs> He's always there. Uh, let's see what we missed here. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people are excited for Daniel Kaluuya. Very, very much deserved. We're excited for the win. Let's see here. He's a legend, well earned and well earned for sure. This, oh, sorry. Uh, this video is the most up to date out of all the other reaction videos. Oh, so we're getting them. What do you mean, Roman? That means we're the the closest. Like the we're getting the results sooner. Let us know what you mean specifically. Um, tomorrow is End Game's anniversary. Well, I didn't know that. Did you know that? Well, tonight actually. Oh, it's tonight. Oh, okay. I saw it on a Thursday night, the twenty. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Yeah. So we got 20 people, 26 people in here. Thank you all for being here. I'm just curious to see how many likes we have. 27 people now. 28 likes, guys. Can we get to 30? Please hit that like button as you're coming in, guys. We're doing this. It's very much appreciated, guys. Thank you all for being here, still uh, supporting the channel. Um, very much appreciated. You're about 10 seconds behind the show from me. Interesting. Okay. So I guess it's just different for everybody and where you are, but that's okay. We're having a good time and that's all that matters for sure. Um, yeah. So Daniel Kaluuya winning, obviously that was a no brainer. That was a no brainer for sure. Another round was another, another no, -brainer no brainer for sure. So looks like, I don't know what direction they're going to go in. Oh, next. West Side Story. Oh, is this the trailer? I don't want to play it, but we can look. Yeah, is it? Sorry, they said the trailer would drop. Let's take a look. This is the West Side trailer, West Side Story trailer. Oh yeah, yeah. Little Benny little. and the Jets. Looks very vibrant. From the trailer. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yep, thank you for Michael. We appreciate it. Yeah, we just, mm -hmm. yep, we obviously couldn't play it because of copyright, but we were watching it muted. But uh, that looked very vibrant and very fun, and probably the choreography colorful, is going to be yeah. amazing for sure. I'm hoping Bakalova wins supporting actress, says Jacob. I hope not. <laughs> Ryan was not crazy about Borat's subsequent movie film. I hope it's Yu Jung Yoon. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, Father of the Bride, such a sweet movie. Nomadland is getting best cinematography, and Mank is getting best production design. I believe that's what Ryan has has picked as well. So, looks like you guys are on the same page. Yeah, that trailer did look good. I admit it, it looked really good. Um, remember me? Can you feel the love tonight? A whole new world. <laughs> Just keep going, Disney. Disney. Or is it the theme of Idol? Oh, I don't know if it's the theme. They did go to Disney, though, so that would make sense if it was the theme. Walt Disney World, yep. So, 
I can't wait. I'm excited. Um, I want Olivia Coleman to win Best Supporting Actress. Interesting. Okay. For the father. Huh? Yep. I wasn't crazy about the movie, but I really liked her performance, says Jacob for Maria Bakalova for yeah. Borat's subsequent movie film. Um, also, if you guys missed it, Ryan on his channel today did drop his Blu-ray haul for the month of April. It's been a little while since, since Ryan's done a Blu-ray haul, but we did drop one. So if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, reviews this weekend that you did. I'm trying to think. Uh, you saw, obviously, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. If anyone wants to see Ryan's review, it's on the channel for sure. Um, Ryan saw Malcolm in the Machines early. So if you want to go check out his re early review for that, it's on yeah. the channel for sure. Ryan, could you do some sort of Spielberg ranking after West Side Story comes out? I Yes, I was waiting for West Side Story to do something Spielberg, like a top 10 or something. I mean, or ranking all his movies. Yeah, maybe that would be a big project where you could finally like every single down. one of his movies. That's a lot, movies. but someone someone's got to do it, right? So maybe maybe Ryan will. I think Jay's done it. Nicholas has mm. seen Minari. He's heard of me. He still needs to see it. Oh, He's heard of me. Thanks. Yeah. Uh -huh. Rooting for Yu John Yoon for Minari. Yep. Um, wasn't a fan of the original Fantasia, and he has not seen Fantasia 2000. They have not seen it. I'll have to watch that MK review, Mortal Kombat. It seems like a very divisive right now. I mean, yeah, I would say so. It's very. It divisive. depends if you're a fan or not of the franchise, of the Absolutely. game franchise. I mean, I wasn't crazy. Over it. Yeah, so depends if you're a fan of the video games. If so, I think people are liking it more if you were. Um, Ryan, what if Michael Bay made an MCU movie? That would be awful. <laughs> and last question for TVB9, then we're going to go. Is there any theaters open in your areas, or are you watching everything on streaming services? Uh, there are theaters open in our area, but mostly we're streaming things these days. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Okay, here's the thing. All actors know this. You can be primed to get the performance of your life, but if you show up and your hair looks wrong, all anybody will be looking at is your hair. And if you show up and your costume is wrong, all anybody would be looking at is your costume. Well, we'll get to the rest of the questions when we're on a break, guys, all right? For best makeup and hairstyling, oh. five different teams of three are nominated. These artists share their various paths to tonight. Makeup One and hairstyling. Makeup on himself. Another got started by showing up on a set at 3 a.m. to hold hairpins. Others by working for free on small independent films. Here are the nominees for makeup and hairstyling. Emma, Maurice Langan, Laura Allen, Claudia Stolze. <laughs> Phil Billy Elegy, Aaron Kruger, Matthew Mungel, and Patricia DeHaney. <laughs> Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Sergio Lopez Rivera, Mia Neal, and Jamika Wilson. You went with Emma, Ryan, right? Kimberly Spatera, yeah, Emma. Colleen LeBac. <laughs> Pinocchio, Mark Coolier, Delia Cooley, and Francesco Pegarotti. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Oh, Ma Rainey. Ma Rainey. Thanks, it. What is this for? Costume design? Makeup and hairstyling. I mean, yeah, I, I think I went with Ma Rainey. Did I? Makeup and hairstyling. Ma Rainey's black bottom. Nicholas, you called it right. You called it right. Ma Rainey or Emma Ryan. Yep. Yeah. Um, since there was a Pinocchio movie in 2020, there was. Yeah. Not a lot of people saw it, but yes. I was raised by my grandfather, James Holland. He was an original Tuskegee Airman. He represented the U.S. in the first Pan Am Games. He went to Argentina. He met Evita. He graduated from Northwestern University at a time that they, not, they did not allow blacks to stay on campus. So he stayed at the YMCA. Hmm. And after all of his accomplishments, he went back to his hometown in hopes of becoming a teacher. But they did not hire blacks in the school system. Yeah, it wasn't released by Disney. So sure. I want to say thank you to our ancestors who put the work in, were denied, but never gave up. 
And I also stand here as Jamaica and I break this glass ceiling with so much excitement for the future. Because I can picture black trans women standing up here and Asian sisters and our Latina sisters and indigenous women. And I know that one day it won't be unusual or groundbreaking. It will just be normal. Thank you to the Academy, to Netflix, to Denzel Washington, to George C. Wolf, to Anne Roth. Yep, Ma Rainey's first award. Davis. to Angie Resnick, to the spirit of Ma Rainey. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Congrats to them for sure. Um, there are some questions back here that we missed. Ryan, what did you think of the West Side Story trailer real quick? I didn't really see much of it. We didn't want to hear the audio to it. And Ryan, are you looking forward to In the Heights? Of course I am. We both can't wait for that. Said the minute I put on the wardrobe, the character just unfolds. Emma's Alexandra Byrne had the challenge of designing costumes for a film set in the early 19th century. To meet that challenge, she looked at everything. Paintings, journals, and even in museums. To prepare for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, costume designer <laughs> Anne Roth reads the script and asks herself questions about the character, like, when she goes to bed, where are those clothes? Do they fall on the floor? Does she hang them up? From there, Anne builds the costumes. It might get this them. also. It might get costume. For Mank, Trish Somerville used Sears and Roebuck catalogs, Charlie Chaplin movies, and still photographs from the 20s, 30s, and 40s to create an authentic look of real people from movie history. Bina Dagler spent three weeks in China researching costumes for Mulan. She said her goal was to enable the audience to grasp something essential about the character. And in the case of Mulan herself, she used color and costume to convey an uplifting and positive message. Pinocchio's costume designer, Massimo Cantini Parini, also is a strong believer that color helps create the character. And because red is the color that expresses powerful emotions like anger, passion. Yes, we have seen the original West Side Story. It's yes. very, very good. Yes. The only character in the movie wearing red. And the Oscar goes to Anne Roth. Ma Rainey. Ma Rainey. Ma Rainey takes it again. Wow. Wow. So Ma Rainey won costume and makeup. Very, very good. There you go. Oh, we got Brian Cranston there. Walter White. So there's our next break. Have you done a ranking of your favorite best picture winners, or is that a video you would consider go doing? Uh, I didn't think about it this year. I was just focused on other projects. Really, the only rankings Ryan's done for Oscars this year is obviously ranking all eight of the best picture nominees. He did do that. So yeah. Zachary six for six. Hey, good for you, man. That's sure. awesome. Keep yeah. it going. My Rainey does double down and get both costume and makeup. So there you go. Maybe it'll get maybe it'll get speak now also. It'll get three. That'll be really, really good for sure. Um I think that's the only three it's nominated for. Let's see. Um Yankee Ryan is asking you, Ryan, have you planned all your rankings at the moment? Uh I usually plan it by month, but for the next month, yes, I have. Yeah, it's kind of hard too because you can plan um months and months in advance but then a global pandemic can happen and then things have to change so you just got to be flexible things can change so ryan and i kind of look at it month to month and see what's coming out and what ranking videos we could do and those kind of things um and roth is breaking the record as the oldest costume designer to win an oscar wow for best costume design there you go there you go ryan do you have a grade for the dark knight rises uh, I give The Dark Knight Rises an A. Ryan, I saw Breaking Bad for the first time recently. Not my number one favorite show of all time, but it is the most perfect one I've seen. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Um, your rankings are my favorite videos you do. Well, thank you, well, Yankee. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Those are fun videos to do. It's just got to find the right time to do those kind of things. So, But we appreciate that you like them very much. Very much so. Uh -huh. Um, what's your favorite Game of Thrones episode, Ryan? Uh, for sure, Battle of the Bastards. If we're talking action, we're talking dialogue. That was season four, the Tyrion 
a courtroom episode. The old, the laws of gods and men. Thoughts on the Wicked adaptation. There's rumors that Amanda Seyfried is being considered for the role of Glinda, and Anna Kendrick is being considered for Elphaba. So Wicked, I, nice. I don't know too much about Wicked. I know the show, but like I don't know the storyline too much. But um, I know Anna Kendrick has a history with singing. I don't know if Amanda Seyfried has a history with singing. Do you know? Not fully. No. So Seyfried would be an interesting choice, but I know Anna Kendrick can sing, so... That would be a good choice, I guess you could say. So, don't really have too much to say, I guess. Um, have you seen Harold and Maude, a great romance movie? Uh, I have not. Have you, Cody? I have not seen Harold and Maude. No, sorry. No. Um, the best content you do is Falling for Film Podcast. That's the reason why I got into your channel. Well, we still appreciate you still hanging out. Obviously, we're not doing... The Falling for Film podcast right now, but appreciate we appreciate that you're still you're here still being here and, and supporting, supporting us. Really right Cody, have you seen Mortal Kombat? I have not. I have not played those games, so I have no interest mm -hmm. at all. Ryan, great for Suicide Squad 2016. That would be a D minus. <clears throat> it's got some redeemable redeemable. Brian Cranston as WW or DDL as Daniel or Daniel Plainview performance wise. I mean, you can't compare those two because that's a TV show versus a movie. Oh, there's the man. There's there he Heisenberg. Is. <laughs> hey, Ryan, Roman's new to this channel. Who would be your choice for supporting actress? Always changing, of course. Uh, Yoo Jung Yoon. Yoo Jung Yoon from Minari. Brian Cranston is speaking right now. Let me set this scene. It's a raging tail end of a pandemic. Many millions of lives are lost. Many millions more permanently dislocated and changed forever. People wonder, how will we move forward? The year is 1921. After the worst pandemic in history, actors Mary Pickford and Gene Herschel took action. That's awesome, Roman. Motion picture and television fund. A foundation <laughs> that would provide a remarkable range of health services <laughs> and aid. To anyone who worked in the film, <laughs> mother. <laughs> One hundred years later, we find ourselves. How do we solve this problem? Let's meth. cook some meth. This time, the MPTF knew how to answer the call because they had been doing it. For <laughs> in 1942, the Motion Picture and Television Fund broke ground on what would become the Lou Wasserman Campus in Woodland Hills. From actors to makeup artists, from electricians to carpenters, from painters to teamsters. The Motion Picture and Television Fund was created to help those who, for whatever reason, fell on hard times. The film lab chemist who developed Alzheimer's found a home at the MPTF. A gay hair and makeup artist whose death left his life partner unable to receive his pension. I freaking love Brian Cranston's voice. <laughs> recognized as a marriage. The MPTF was there so. to help. Being a single mother in this industry is hard, mm. but having my son lose his father made it a lot harder. But Naomi and MPTF were there for us. My family and I will always remember the grace with which my husband Travis died and the motion picture television fund so, that allowed so. him to Walter White all the way. We're going to get to your comments in a second, guys. It's really hard to during the, cer the ceremony. Jesse. But we thank you all for being here very much. Favorite Brian Cranston performance besides Walter White, Ryan? Do you have one? Uh, I gotta go with Trumbo. His Oscar nominee. Mm. Thank you for all the essential workers out there and the people in the medical field, for sure. <laughs> Brian, 
thank you for those kind words. They mean so much to us coming from a member of our MBTF family. Jennifer, Norma, and I want to express our gratitude to David Rubin, Dawn Hudson, and the Academy Board of Governors for recognizing the Motion Picture and Television Fund tonight with this very special honor, especially since this is the first time the award has gone to an organization. Thank you to our board who have guided us and supported us over the years. Your kind words during the pandemic were cherished. Much appreciation to the thousands of small and large donors who sustain our charity and to our volunteers whose contribution of their personal time is so essential to our mission. Here's to the tens of thousands of freelance workers in our entertainment community, those in front of and behind the camera. They are the heartbeat of our industry and for a hundred years MPTF has been their safety net of support. This year alone, MPTF connected with our industry workforce over 40,000 times. Thank you to the residents of the iconic motion picture home. They've had a very rough 12 months of social isolation. Tonight though, they are all together, <coughs> but socially distanced and watching the Oscars. To Norma Carranza, nurse, and to Jennifer George, social worker, both of whom exemplify the best in their fields, and to the rest of our MPTF work family on the front line during the pandemic, the social workers and nurses, doctors and housekeepers, activity staff and food service, all of them, accountants, fundraisers, all of them, a IT techs, producers, HR professionals, chaplains, cooks, and landscapers. They are our industry superheroes of 2020. Without this a doubt, absolutely. Yeah. And the tens of thousands of others who have worked at MPTF over the past 100 years. It's the honor of a lifetime for all of us to work together and to receive this award. We really and truly take care of our own. And to Jean Hirschholt, humanitarian, and our president at MPTF for 18 years, we're bringing you home tonight. Well done. Last year, in this very theater, history was made when, for the first time, a non English language film swept the awards, winning Best Picture, along with Best Screenplay, Best International Parasite, Film, and Best Director. Presenting the Academy of Bong Joon Ho, directing, director Bong, director Bong Joon Ho. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. He's working on his next movie right now. What did you say? I bet he's working on his next movie. We're going to answer you guys' questions in a little bit, so sorry. What does it really mean to be a director? I'm a director His myself, translator, but iconic. I don't really know what to say when I get asked this question. It's a little embarrassing to answer with a straight face, a bit cringy as well. But more than anything else, it's difficult to give a short and clear answer. When I get asked this question during an interview, I just want to gloss over the answer or run away. But this time, I was the one to ask this question to the five directors nominated tonight. The question was, if you have to explain to a random kid on the street what directing is in 20 seconds, what would you say? Thank you all for being here. Very much appreciated. We're going to answer questions in a little bit, I promise. Thomas Another round. 
동료 아티스트들과 함께 다 같이 뛰어내린다면 어떤 뜨거운 연대감이 치솟아 오른다고 합니다. 리아이 작정 감독은 말합니다. 영화는 삶에 대한 응답이어야 합니다. 그 반대는 성립하지 않습니다. 진정 사람들에게 가다올 수 있는 스토리를 만들기 위해서 스토리텔러는 늘 우리의 실제 삶에 뿌리를 내리고 있어야만 합니다. 우리 자신을 규정 짓는 껍데기를 벗겨내고 타인 입장에서 보는 체험을 선사했던 유건의 자오 감독은 말합니다. 감독이란 결국 이것저것 웬만큼은 할줄 알지만 뭔가 하나 제대로 마스터한 것은 없는 그런 사람들입니다. 그러다 일이 꼬여가기 시작할 땐 버든 오브 드림스 같은 영화를 보면서 아 이런 상황에서 베르너 헤어 초크 감독이라면 어떻게 할 것인가 스스로에게 물어보는 그런 전제입니다. 아메랄드 페넬 감독에게 디렉팅이란 잔혹 또는 무시무시한 것들에 대한 영원한 사랑을 마음껏 펼쳐 보이는 일입니다. 에메랄드 감독이 8살 때너 나중에 커서 뭐가 되고 싶니? 라고 엄마가 물었을 때 꼬마 에메랄드는 대뜸 이렇게 답했습니다. 전 살인사건 얘기를 좀 쓰고 싶어요. 그리고 영화 만들기에 관한 영화를 네, 찍은 네, 데이비 펜처 네, 감독은 네, 말합니다. 네. 어떤 하나의 신을 찍을 때 그걸 찍는 수백 가지의 방법들이 있지만 결국에 가서는 딱두 가지 방법밖에 없다는 것을 알게 됩니다. 맞는 방법과 틀린 방법. Here we go. 수상자를 발표하겠습니다. Bong Joon Ho and the Oscar goes to We Chloe Zhao Chloe Zhao There's Chloe the winner. <clears throat> First woman director since Catherine Bigelow in years? 11 years a woman director finally wins best director. <laughs> oh, man. Um, thank you. Thank you to the Academy. Thank you to my brilliant, brilliant nominees, final nominees. Thank you. Um, my entire Nomadland company. What a crazy once in a lifetime journey we're on together. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to you. Um, I'm I've happy for our Tony. Lately, Okay, now that Eternals trailer is going to have Oscar winner. Yep. And I think, I think it goes back to something I learned when I was a kid. When I was growing up in China, my dad and I used to play this game. We would memorize classic Chinese poems and texts, and we would recite it together and try to finish each other's sentences. And there's one that I remember so dearly. It's called the three character classics. <clears throat> And the first phrase goes, 人之初性本善. People at birth are inherently good. And those six letters had such a great impact on me when I was a kid. And I still truly believe them today. Even though sometimes it might seem like the opposite. Francis McDormand. But I have always found goodness in the people I met everywhere I went in the world. So this is for anyone who has the faith and the courage to hold on to the goodness in themselves and to hold on to the goodness in each other, no matter how difficult it is to do that. And this is for you. You inspire me to keep going. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta wait for that Eternals trailer. We're gonna drop tomorrow. Congrats, Chloe. Well done. Guys, let's go back and read some of these that we've missed for sure. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Watch one anytime you want, Ryan. Watch one once a year. Never watch one again. Opinions, Empire Strikes Back, Dark Knight, and Whiplash. Those are some good ones. Ryan, have you watched any Saw movies leading up to Spiral yet? Not yet. Um, I started following your channel since the COVID-19. Thank you so much. That's Appreciate you sticking around. Spielberg's trailer captured why I watched the Oscars. The visual love of cinema. There Absolutely. you go. Absolutely. There you go. Um, let's see here. Ryan, what if they made a Call of Duty movie? Uh, I wouldn't know what to think about that. What about you? <laughs> I mean, it could happen. It, it definitely could happen. Ryan, I have watched a great movie called Running on Empty. Have you heard of it? River Phoenix. I haven't seen it. 
Random question, but do you guys like metal? If yes, what's your favorite metal band? To be honest with you, TVB9, that is not our first genre of music. So. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Sorry about that. Crafting with Shirley. Running on Empty is one of my favorite films. Thank you for being here, Shirley. Appreciate it. Laura Dern's worst Oscar dress. Well, at least she's not a nominee. So, yeah, I wasn't impressed by the dress. The director category already? Yeah, they did the director category really early. They're yeah, doing they it. They usually do it later on in the series. They're doing the ca the categories a little bit interesting. You no, know, differently. Yeah. Everyone's had Zhao winning for sure. It seems like most people were on that train. Let's see here. Um, uh, I don't want to make sure I miss one, so I just went up for a second. Sorry. Um, Making sure I've never seen Best Director Award given so early. David Fincher has a really good answer about when directing it. It was right to the point. Yeah, very, very exactly. true. Um, when does Eminem perform a song from 18 years ago? Well, he did perform he last did year. Perform that's for last sure. year. Um, are you looking forward to Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch? Absolutely. I'm a big Wes Anderson fan, like some of his movies. And the trailer was good. So Infinity War said he liked the West Side Story trailer. He went to go watch it. So well, there you go. Um, they should stop making video game movies. They all suck. They don't have a good track record. That is for sure. They definitely don't. Especially with Mortal Kombat. I think it's done well in the box office. So. Liked the first Saw movie and liked it. All right. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, Whiplash, Empire Strikes Back, and Dark Knight. Which one would you watch anytime you want? Empire. Which one would you watch once a year? Uh, Dark Knight. And watch and never watch again. So I guess you're never watching Whiplash. Well, <laughs> all right. No. I guess you're watch never watching Whiplash again. So. Wow, that's that, that's sad, Ryan. Um, I have I don't know I don't know which one I would How do. Could you even ask? Um, are you going to buy Nomad Land on physical media? Vinnie Conrad asks. Yep. yep. I think it's um, available on Disney right now. It's on Star for Disney Plus. Yep. So there you go. When is your next Q and A live stream? Not really sure, to be not honest sure with yet. you. Not really sure. When there's really a not a busy week for movies is when we try to aim it. Um, I think uh, this week or. The week after. Is there a way I can watch the ceremony live for free without a sign up? I'm in Britain, so we don't have ABC. Um, I wouldn't know. I'm sure there is a way you could, but um, I don't know if it'd be free. There's probably somewhere someone's streaming it somewhere, so you could probably find it somewhere if you did some research. But we have cable, so that's why we're watching it the way we are. So. You know, it's different for everybody. It is different for everybody. So I'm just going to take a quick look at my phone here. I want to see uh, how many views, how many uh, likes, views. likes we have. Do you want to know how to get so 31 people here. Thank you guys so much. And we have 31 likes. That's awesome. Guys, let's get it to 40. That's like our goal. 40 was our goal. So if you haven't yet and you're in here, Please hit that like button. It would be very much appreciated. Besides Soul, what would you say is your favorite animated movie of last year? Last year. Last year? Um, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden Mortal. Was that last year? 2019. Last year, Ryan. No, 2020 is this year. 2019. No, 2020, Ryan. But I th Wolf this Walkers. Is you, you saw it? Yep. No, I was trying to say what you would say. Is that right? You're not answering the question. Okay. Is it? Soul is my favorite. Beside soul is what Jacob's saying. Okay, Wolf Walkers. Was the true listening and true communication goes far beyond what we hear with our ears. Riz Ahmed. Riz. Sound and metal. The film's nominated tonight for best sound. Understood this. Oh, they best the sound. The movie's gonna win, Riz. <laughs> even in their silences, and it struck us at our core. <clears throat> Here are the nominees for achievement in sound. Like if this doesn't go to sound and metal, then I don't know how. Greyhound, Warren Shaw, Michael Minkler, Bo Borders, and David Wyman. Mank, Ren Kleiss, Ooh. Jeremy Mollard, David Parker, Ugh. Nathan Lance, and Drew Cunyon. News of the world. Oliver Tani, Mike Prestwood Smith, William Miller, and John Pritchett. Soul, Ren Kleiss, Koya Elliott, and David Parker. Sound of Metal. 
Nicolas mm. Becker, Jaime Bakht, Michel Coutonet, Carlos Cortez, and Philippe Blad. And the Oscar goes to... Sound of Metal. Sound of Metal. There you go, Riz. <laughs> Who's speaking? Isn't that the sound, so, uh, the sound dude? Thank you so much uh, for the Academy for uh, recognizing this uh, wonderful film. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, my English is not very good, so that I'm, I'm going to read a bit because I, I don't want to make uh, problems. So thank you, Darius and Abe, for recognizing this wonderful film. No, th thank you, Darius and Abe, the true master behind Sound of Metal. Thank you, Sasha and Bert, for your great support. Thank you, Riz, Paul, and Olivia for your amazing performances. To Mikel for his collaboration. To Philippe and Jeremy for their commitments. To Eki, Kari, Pietu, Yana and their creativity. To Carolina for her brilliance. To Jaime, Michel, and Carlos, top of the notch. On behalf of Philippe... Yes, Zachary, this is for sound. Yep, sound. I thank you, Eric, Mikel, Rosal, Rosalinda, Sabina, David, Pablo, Victoria, Cesar, Chris, Fanny, Marta, Orlando... Bruno, Carla, Constance, Anton, and Eran. We are five in the team. That's why it's a bit long. So now I would like to say something more personal. Fellini once said, in the history of cinema, beyond the evolution of styles and techniques, what stays embodied in films is their human vitality. And whoever enjoys it receives a charge of energy, something pulsing, mysterious, and vibrant. Some sound of metal I receive from its team so much care, love, and attention. So much energy that we believe it's one of the reasons why the film has been received by the audience so beautifully. So thank you for that. Thank you very much. Congrats to Sound right, of Metal. Thank you. It's first award, it's first award. Yeah, I know it is one category. You're right. It's not sound mixing and sound editing. You're right, David Hoffman. You're right. All right, I'll be back. How many of you started off your career working as cast or crew on a short film? I'm noticing some of you will go straight to the top. Um, Exactly. I mean, look, you can always be sure the category for best live action short will showcase some of tomorrow's great filmmakers. You can understand why. Building a world drawing an audience into it, taking them on an unforgettable ride over an hour or two is difficult enough. To do it in under 20 minutes is a miracle. If feature films or novels, short films are like poems. They have less space to work with, but the distilled vision they contain can often make even more of an impact. Here are the nominees for Best Live Action Short Brian Film. will be right back. Feeling Through, Doug Rowland and Susan Rosensky. The Letter, Elvira Lind and Sophia Sondervan. The Present, Farah Nablusi and Osama Bawardi. Two Distant Strangers, Trayvon Free and Martin Desmond Rowe. Yeah, Ryan really isn't either, so I'm not sure what he chose. Shushan and Shira Hockman. And the Oscar goes to Two Distant Strangers. <laughs> two Distant Strangers won for live action short. There you go, they're matching outfits. Uh, today, 
the police will kill three people. And tomorrow, the police will kill three people. And the day after that, the police will kill three people. Because on average, the police in America every day kill three people, which amounts to about a thousand people a year. And those people happen to disproportionately black people. And, you know, James Baldwin once said, the most despicable thing a person can be is indifferent to other people's pain. And so I just ask that you please not be indifferent. Please don't be indifferent to our pain. We'd like to thank Netflix for getting our short film, The Chance to be Seen by the World. We'd like to thank the Academy for championing the art of the short film. We'd like to thank Joey Badass, Andrew Howard, and Zaria for bringing our short film to life. And we'd like to bring, we'd like to thank Lawrence Bender, Sean Combs, Chris Uweiler, Jesse Williams, Nick May, Van Latham, Mickey Meyer, James Samuels, and Nick Frew for making this dream a reality. Oh. And I want to thank Tony, my mom, and Zaria. Happy birthday, baby. I love you. Well, I love one, Tony. My mom and my brother. Love you too. Thank you all. Two distant strangers, one live action short. Yay! Animated features next. Yes. Even though we know what's gonna happen. Um, know, we already know what the well, two was. distant strangers did win, Jacob. So there you go. Spielberg is my favorite director. That is Ryan's favorite director too. Right. I missed the movies of him being released to cinemas. I just saw that the Internet Movie Database has the trailer up for West Side Story. Yes, yes, it has come out. Um, but yeah this is both now one category it is just sound so sound. soul yes and go soul yep we're all rooting for it i'm gonna watch two distant strangers on netflix tomorrow wanted to watch it before but didn't get in time well it is now an oscar winner so it's more of a reason to go check it out now on netflix if wolf walkers wins i won't complain i haven't seen wolf walkers yeah, but ryan did Sorry, AJ. Yeah, I know you asked this before we went to commercial break. Are we also looking forward to Ridley Scott's House of Gucci? The costumes look during the filming of that movie has a shot of Best <laughs> Costume Design nomination. Ryan, do you, are you interested yeah, in it? I've only seen the picture of Adam Driver and Lady Gaga. Gotcha. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. You're nervous. Walter, I don't think you have anything to be worried about. I think Soul has it in the bag. I think it does have it in the bag. It's won everything... Up to this point, I think I don't know if anything else has won. So, I think Soul has won an animated feature at every award ceremony. So I think the odds are definitely going in our favor. In favor. Amari, welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you, Amari. I'm hoping to see Tenet winning Best Visual Effects. That's my favorite movie of 2020. Yeah, I think Tenet definitely has the visual effects Oscar in the bag. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Wait and see. But um, they're doing animated feature next. It looks like Reese Witherspoon. Cody's favorite category. It is. The only category to react to. It was a little bit more competitive last year, but this year it's definitely looking like a lock for it. 33 it, likes, 34 people in here. If Soul loses, I'm going to stop watching the stream and stream my head off. Stream <laughs> my head off. I don't blame you. We might stop streaming too. Yeah. Soul <laughs> is going to win. win. Yeah. The odds are definitely looking like that. Is Sean going to be the, the case. Sheep Farmageddon wins. I'm done. Oh, we're, gosh. We're done. <laughs> that would just be an oddball choice for sure, as it's not won anything to this point. Um, but yes. Um, I'm trying to think any movies coming out this week, Ryan, that we can talk about ahead of time? Um, actually, Mitchell's versus the Machines. That's right. Mitchell's versus. I already versus have a review out for it. Go check it out. That's one you guys do not want to miss. Hey, Ryan, do you want to answer Roman's question? Do you have a separate YouTube channel? I don't. No. This is Ryan's channel that you're watching this, this on my now. my channel. I'm just his brother. I'm his editor. <laughs> Ryan's the main guy. He's back there. He does all the movie reviews and stuff. So what you're, wa what you're watching now is Ryan's channel. So okay. thank you for being here, Roman. What if Over the Moon wins? I tried to watch that movie. It's a good movie. It was it was all right. It was pretty good. I wasn't crazy about it. Was it was a good movie. I wasn't crazy about it, but it was it was it was good. It was a good movie. It was good. Mm -hmm. Um Amari says he's definitely going to be at the Oscars one day. Hey man, you never know. You never know. Dream make big. Dream make your dream a reality. Dream big. Dream big. Palmer, good movie. 
I reviewed it early. Luckily on Apple. Wolf Walker. Oh, this is a trailer for Apple TV Plus. Thoughts on Kristen Stewart playing Princess Princess Diana and Pablo Larian Spencer. There's chances the movie might be released sometime later this year, given the recent passing of Prince Philip. I had no idea that was a thing, AJ Pat. So you're definitely ahead of us when it comes to all of this. Um, Mr. DVV, DVB, what's up? The Oscars is so poorly paced and the lack of music or clips is jarring. Feels like a high school honor roll ceremony. <laughs> I, I can see where you're coming from. It is, it, it is a little slow paced. <laughs> Cody, but, who's the bachelorette? Um, and yeah, uh, um, some people are hoping for Onward to win, which is interesting. Um, 100% lock for soul. Drew Howe is here. Can you do a top 10 favorite best picture winners? That's a good video, maybe at some point, some point in the future. Um, let's see, the Oscars are back, <clears throat> back to the ceremony. Reese Witherspoon. Animated short. Oh, short first. She won the Oscars animation. for uh, Your inspiration can come from all the Johnny Cash places. movie. Right. Oh, walk the line. and Jeezley Dare Halderson's love affair with animation began with Star Wars. The force is very strong. Star Wars. Wars. Eric O oh spent hours and hours watching films by legendary animation director Miyazaki Hayao. Yep. Those hours inspired him to create the film Opera. Madeline Sharafian is a huge fan of Wes Anderson films, and her partner, Michael Cabaret, is a huge fan of large coke and a small popcorn. Both helped to fuel them to create their film, Burrow. Michael Gauvier's favorite film at 12 years old was Citizen Kane. Mm. Really? 12 years old? That's, that's very intense to watch Citizen Kane. But Will McCormick, so your film is Ordinary People, also a very intense film. Will also enjoys the unique combination of pouring milk duds into his small popcorn, which sounds awesome. Sort of like his favorite film, Ordinary People. It's sort of salty and messy, and definitely delicious. Oh, yeah, Burrow. Isn't that Disney? If anything yeah. happens, I love you. Yep. So, here it is. The Oscar goes to the best animated short film. If anything happens, I love you. Wow, okay. Mm. If anything happens, I love you wins best animated short. Good for them. Good for them. I never thought I'd get to say this. Thank you to the Academy. Uh, I, I just want to thank... Uh, just thank you to everyone who opened their hearts and watched our film. It just means so much to us. Gregory Garger, you were the engine of our film. Young Rindo, your Amazing short, Trav Max says. I'll have to check it out. Jamie Lemons, thank you for your tenacity and passion. Gary Gilbert and Gilbert Films for believing in us. Robin Klein and Jeremy Ross, our guardian angels. Lindsay Marcus, your sublime music. Peter Morgan, Jerry Chamala, Sidney Holland, Peter Ediger, Michael Badcock, Julia Rodriguez, and Michelle Yeoh. Woo, we were so lucky to work with you. That's how big our team was. I want to thank my parents, who've been my champions from the start. My wife, Eliza, I love you. Thank She's you. crying. You. Jeez. Wow. Greg Taylor, thank you for having the guts to believe that all stories can be told in animation. Wolf Costello, the Railroad, Every Town for Gun Safety, Sophie Yan, and the UTA Foundation. Mom and Dad. For telling me I could do anything I believed in. I bought it. My wife, Emily Arlen, If anything happens to you, Trap Max, you know where we can watch the short? I knew was possible. We dedicate this film. I'm sure it's on Netflix or some stream. I want to check it out if he knows where. What's the what's it called? What's going on, MM Ali? Good to see you. Hoping for Riz Ahmed to win today. If anything happens, I will.
Oh, it's on Netflix. Okay, Trav Max says it's on Netflix. Gotcha. So you've just heard why our nominees for animated shorts fell in love with animation. Me? I fell in love with animated movies when my mother took me to a movie theater for the very first time. What's going on, Zane Winder? Good to see you. Thank you for being here, man. I remember vividly the lead character was Mrs. Grisby, and she was a fierce mother mouse determined to protect her children from a dangerous farmer's wild. Are you watching the Academy Awards with us? Seeing a strong woman at the center of a film. And that is the power of really great animation. It shows you as a child that anything is possible, that you can change the world, even if you're small as a mouse. Tonight, we have nominees here with us in person, but we want to say a special hello to Thank the you, Amari. from London and Kilkenny, Ireland. <laughs> we got Ireland. Nice. Here are the nominees for Best Animated Feature. Here we go. Onward, Dan Scanlon. Great movie. Onward. Great movie. Mm -hmm. That's Reese Witherspoon. Great movie. Over the moon. Over the moon. Jenny Rim and Kaylin Chow. What could a girl like you possibly do? Not me a rock in the middle of the view. Let's go. It's right, Jane. I like that. Right? It feels like Onward was released a long time ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> this looks creepy. <laughs> Did anybody enjoy this movie? Well, it's from uh, Ardman. Right? Ryan, what's your favorite Reese, Reese Witherspoon movie? Uh, Lord Walk the Line. So, so good. Oh. It's my favorite scene in the movie. It's a oh. So good. So beautiful. Oh. Wolfwalkers. Wolfwalkers. Oh, oh so good. Animation, Cody. Oh. It's very unique. Wow. Hand drawn. Oh, very cool. Very rarely we get hand drawn animation. I'm running with the wolves. And the Oscar for Best Animated Feature goes to Soul. Ooh. Soul. Woo! What a shocker. <laughs> Pete Doctor. Pete Doctor. You're going to get another Oscar. The Goat. The Goat. Pixar. I love Pete. I want to go to the. Uh, okay, I've been nominated, nominated to uh, speak on behalf of Dana and Kemp Powers, our co-director. This film started as a love letter to jazz, but we had no idea how much jazz would teach us about life. Like we don't get to control what happens, but we can, like a jazz musician, turn whatever happens into something of value and something of beauty. And that was certainly true of our amazing cast. Great movie, Tina guys. Fox, Tina Fey, you guys are amazing. Uh, our, our um, brilliant collaborators. He's the Kevin Feige of Pixar now. Uh, John Batiste, this guy over there. Uh, it was just fantastic working with all of you guys. Uh, uh, Questlove did. Oh, great! I love that. Cole, uh, people who kept kept us honest and keep those characters truthful. We're really thankful to our partners at Disney who. When we said, hey, we want to do a film that explores the purpose of life, they're like, okay, go ahead. That's not your usual cartoon fare. <laughs> and, of course, to our family, uh, Dana wants to thank 
my amazing husband, my parents, um, I'm here because of you. Um, I love you so much. Hazel and Murray, my baby's at home. You're everything to me. Um, we obviously have to thank the big So it was amazing, guys. Yes, stuff. great movie. You have finished it from home with seven weeks of production left. You are, you're, you should be up here with us, and we are just the lucky speakers. I'm not supposed to be speaking, actually. <laughs> So our main character, Joe, is a music teacher. Uh, we want to thank music teachers and art teachers everywhere. You yes. My parents, David, Rita, and Dana's parents, uh, Pam and Tom, you make the world a better place. And my wish, my wish for all of us tonight is that we could follow the example of jazz musicians, that wherever we are, whatever we have, we turn it into something beautiful. Thank you. Great movie, guys. So happy for it. It deserves way more than it's going to get. It's so good. Yes, everyone's so happy. I love this. Mm -hmm. Westlove cover. Oh, looks like supporting actress is coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see what you guys are saying here. Ryan, I'm going to let you go up and read as I'm eating, and I don't want to talk when I'm eating, so I'll let you go and read the chat. All right, what comment are we on? Uh, where's your phone? Go back and look at some of the ones we didn't answer, all right? All right everyone's just happy. Soul one. Um, I don't know. Did you watch two? Okay, we've answered that. I'm definitely going to be at the... I was hoping over the moon would win. Already done these. I hope that short that played in front of Raya wins animated. Short. We have a question from Crafting with Shirley at the bottom. Where can we watch Soul? It is on Disney Plus. Four. And it's on Blu-ray. It is available on Blu-ray, and it is on, it is Disney, on Plus. Disney Plus. I wish Monsters, Inc. won over Shrek that year. Interesting. Yeah. I like Monsters, Inc. a lot. Yep. Up, Inside Out, and now Soul. Three Oscars for Pete Doc. All three great movies. Can't believe Christopher Nolan never won an Oscar. Yeah, that is crazy to me. I'll be right back. Uh, I'll just update my best name. Yeah, that's about it, question-wise, that I see on here. Awesome. So why don't you? Yep. We appreciate you guys, you know, being here still. You know, if you haven't yet already, hit the like button. Uh, if you love the channel, if you're new here, then consider clicking that subscribe button for more awesome content. We got 38, almost 40 people in here. Thank you, guys. And we have 34 likes, so let's get six more likes to 40. That is the goal for tonight, and we appreciate you guys very much. Obviously, we'd love to exceed that, so definitely hit that like button if you haven't yet, guys. It would be very much appreciated. Um, Soul, great Pixar movie alongside Coco, Inside Out, Ratatouille, Finding Nemo, Toy Story Films, among many others. Pixar just has an amazing list of films in their filmography that they're just the gods right now. And guess what? They're not done yet this year. They got another one coming out. <laughs> we got Luca, their next film coming out. I definitely need to revisit the Pixar movies for sure. And then they got that one about the red dot? No, red something. From the director of Bao, the best animated yep. short. And then they have Lightyear. Lightyear, yes. Which seems to be like a Buzz Lightyear at, um, origin story, I guess. It's how he became before he became the, the toy. He was Buzz Lightyear, a guy. So we have Zane asking you a question, Ryan. Who's new? Welcome, Zane. Zane, welcome to the channel. If you are new, would you recommend Wolfwalkers? Absolutely. Go watch it on Apple TV Plus. Uh, one of the best animated films of last year, without a doubt. Big surprise. Luca looks so neat. Luca is definitely one I'm excited for. Lightyear. 
So looking forward to Luca. Pixar are on the same level as Studio Ghibli, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, we're back. Commercial break, it seems like. Watching this year's short documentary films, I'm reminded by how much impact good storytelling can have at any length. Colette introduces us to a 90-year-old French resistance fighter whose then 17-year-old brother, also in the resistance, was sent to a German concentration camp by the Nazis. A concerto is a conversation. A lot of people saying this is a sleeper. This one. Who made yeah. it possible for his family to dream the biggest of dreams. Hunger War takes us inside a clinic in Yemen. The result is as dizzying and as disorienting as war itself. Embedded inside the Hong Kong protests for Do Not Split, the filmmaker's approach is deeply collaborative. Mm. Sophia Nali Allison's experimental documentary, A Love Song for Nat Latasha, is a meditation on life and joy in the South Central neighborhood where she spent her childhood. And the Academy Award for Best Documentary Short goes to... Colette. Colette. And the Gino and <laughs> Colette. You know, I'm happy for the people that predicted Colette to win. Did you? I did not, no. What did you pick? I, what random one did I pick? I picked uh, a little Tasha movie. Oh. I'm so excited today for light year. I can't wait. No, Amari, we weren't going to be that excited. I mean, we were excited, but like we knew it was going to happen. I'm not sure who presented the awards, to be honest with you, Zachary. Sorry. They're all different kinds of people in the academy. Um, today's Colette's birthday. She was born just 22 days before the very first Oscars in 1949. So I, I imagine it must have been a Probably a, about a crowd about this big, right? You know, uh, when she when we got nominated, she told us that, uh, or she reminded us that the power of documentary filmmaking ensured that her brother Jean Pierre was, as she put it, no longer lost in the night and fog of the Nazi concentration camp system. And I want to say that I think it's the that same power. Of the documentary story um, I don't think I've it's never considered to, uh, writing my own movies. I think critiquing has been my sweet spot. Of, I would say so. Horace Bowers, the innocent children of Yemen, and the protesters in Hong Kong are not forgotten. I mean, that's why we do this. That's why we make these films. So, thank you. Thank you. Zachary, you're killing it, man. Nice work. Very nice. Very, very nice. That's awesome, TV, that you're pursuing that. Good for you. Keep it up. And our producers, Annie Small and Aaron Matthews, thank you so much. Uh, to the Guardians, Charlie Phillips, Jess Gormley, and Lindsay Poulton, we share we share this award with you. And uh, I just add something. Uh, this At the 89th Oscars, I wish your, I wish your name was nominated in one Best Animated Feature. I do like Zootopia, but I like your name more. That uh, who are joining hands and fight for justice. Vive Colette, vive la France. Thank you. Thank you. 
Congratulations. Very nice. Very nice. Congratulations. Would you consider doing a video ranking the 20th best animated winners, 20 best animated feature winners? Possibly. Yep. Maybe. Absolutely. One of tonight's documentary features nominees, Alexander Manuela, calls his approach observational storytelling, which seems like a really good definition of what a documentary should be. Their impact can be extraordinary, whether it's a full-length feature film or a cell phone video taken by a young woman in Minneapolis by the name of Darnella Frazier that became the catalyst for change. Here are the nominees for documentary feature. Collective, Alexander Nanau and Bianca Wana. A lot of people are saying my octopus teacher, right? The octopus teacher? Snow Soul was snubbed for best picture. I agree. Yeah. It sort of sucks we don't see a lot of animated films nominated for best picture. Disney nerd, I definitely agree with you. Crip Camp, Nicole Nuno, Jim Lebrett, and Sarah Boulder. I think this goes to collective or my octopus teacher. If I had to pick one, I'm going collective. Okay. I think I've seen majority going octopus teacher, but we'll see. The mole agent, Mighty Alberti, and Marcela Santibanez. My octopus teacher, Pippa Ehrlich, James Reed, and Craig Foster. And then it just happens. I put my hand out a tiny bit. <laughs> I get called my octopus teacher. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. If I went into filmmaking for whatever reason, I start an animation company making feature length animated films with PG 13 and R rating. Cartoons ain't just for kids, y'all. I love that idea, TVB9. That's awesome. Change my mind. Rethinking and about it. Spider Verse is my favorite best be animated right. feature winner. Was that before they into me? Oh, we should go with. We should really go with Zachary here. He picked Crip Camp, so he's been right so far. So we'll see. Yeah. My octopus teacher. So I think that's the first one Zachary got wrong. Yeah. I guess you can't get them all, right? <laughs> that's true. It's hard. <laughs> Ma Rainey's Black Bottom should have been included in the Best Picture lineup. That snub was a travesty. Hmm. Ah, Zachary. My octopus teacher is on Netflix, so I'm going to go watch it. Ah, I'm sorry, Zachary. I'm sorry. Hey, if it's your first one, you've been doing great. Um, and thank you to all of our incredible nominees who spent so many years, and I presume a lot of tears, making... Beautiful and important films and bringing them into the world. I'd like to thank Craig Foster and his family, especially Tom and Swati, who opened their hearts and supported us every step of the way and fed us and allowed their home to become a production company for three years. Um, you lose some, you win some. Very true. Production partners. At least the snubs this year were nowhere near as bad as the snubs last year. And Sam, but, but, 
Humphrey who believed in this film before it was anything. We want to thank Netflix for enabling us to share our story with the world. And then our incredible activist team whose arms stretch across the planet from South Africa to Amsterdam to the UK to the US. <laughs> what? <Where> are you? <laughs> Cody, Amari. What? I don't know any of these movies aside from the end. Hey, Amari's honest. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Kevin and Barry and Kyle and all the people that are fighting. Guys, we're at 39 likes. If we can get one more like, that would be greatly appreciated, guys. This helps so much with the channel. If you're new here and you're enjoying what you're seeing, Ryan does movie reviews, he does ranking videos. On a weekly basis, movie related on the channel. So please hit that subscribe button too if you haven't yet. Have forty. Let's get to fifty. Okay. Okay. In, in, in many, uh, fifty likes. Many South Africans who are awake in the middle of the night to watch the ceremony, and in many ways, this really is a tiny personal story that played out in a sea fire. Thank you, Nicholas. Appreciate it. But on a more universal level, I hope that it provided. A glimpse of a different kind of relationship between human beings and the natural world. I wish there was an MCU movie getting nominated. Um, nope, none this year. Maybe next year. Eternals. <laughs> Black Widow. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. No, oh, you know what? Shang Chi. And all the incredible films that were categorized. It's really humbling and amazing. Um, I'd also like to thank my family, um, Rosie and Isabel, uh, my mom and my two sisters, Jenny and Janice. Can you repeat um, what award this is for? Uh, this is for Best Documentary best Feature, and My Octopus Teacher won. <laughs> um, I think final extra thank you for, for Yeah, Shang-Chi looked great in the visual for the trailers. Making this film in the end, it, it sort of began and ended with him, and it's his story. And What's going on, Dylan? Good to see you. Good Pete see Doctors, you, the GOAT. I was lucky enough to attend a three-hour lecture that Pete gave at my film school, Chapman University, right before he released Inside Out. Learned so much. You guys are awesome. Damn. What an experience. That must have been so awesome. I would love that opportunity. So really, really cool. Glad you got that, and thank you for being here. Brad Pitt, we're now from or announce him next. I hope Eternals will live up to the hype. Uh, I guess we'll see. They're going to release that trailer now that Chloe Zhao is a best Oscar director winner. Oscar winner. So I'm going to use the restroom real quick, guys. Ryan, if you want to um, communicate with the chat. Yep. Alright, let's we'll see what you guys are saying. Uh, Eternals will most likely get best visual effects nominee. Yeah, for sure. Shang-Chi could get nominated for visuals. Pete, um, I home. Um, wait, 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 okay. Pete Doctor is my favorite animated director. Yeah, for sure. He's up there. They better release the trailer. I definitely think they will at some point this week or tomorrow. Pete Doctor has three Oscars. My excitement for Eternals went up a lot because of Zhao winning the Oscar. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Guys, this has been a blessing in disguise and awesome that I get to spend the night talking Oscars with you guys. So, yeah, if we could get this stream to 50 likes, that would be awesome. And I appreciate all your guys' support. Still commenting away, having fun, and celebrating with us. I know nothing about Shang-Chi, neither do I. What's your favorite movie of 2021 so far? Uh, Mitchell's vs. the Machines. Great movie. My favorite animated director is Phil Lord and Chris Miller. They always surprise us with the great movies. Pete Doctor, you already know what his movies would be in quality. Since you love Phil Lord and Chris Miller so much, do not miss Mitchell's vs. the Machines coming to Netflix this oh, Friday. Mitch, Mitchell's vs. the Machines, guys. What a movie. That movie was so good. So good. so good, guys. So good. You guys have the best live stream going. Thank you very much. Who said that? Where are we? You guys have the best live stream going right now. F for real, for real. Oh, appreciate that Thank so you. much. 
Really, what, really do. Thank you. What exactly are the Eternals? They are they are um, superpowered beings that were created by the Celestials thousands of years ago. They were brought there, and that's all I really know about them. And I don't want to know much more about them. But it'll be awesome. Don't spoil the movie for me. I still need, oh, don't worry, Mario. Oh, we won't spoil it. Don't worry. worry. We're not those kind of people. Don't you worry. Those kind of people really, really annoy us. Mitchell's versus the Machines, Spider Verse, or Lego Movie? Spider Verse, easily. I've seen all three. I'd go Mitchell's. I really would. Appreciate go that so much. Spider I go with Spider Verse. No, you should not miss Mitchell and the Machines. Nobody should miss that movie, man. Nobody should miss that. Oh, I could go that on and on. That movie is going to be nominated. Thoughts on Gilmore Del Toro's stop motion film Pinocchio? Did you talk about that one yet? As well as the adaptation of Nightmare Alley? Um, oh, um, Del Toro's next film, Nightmare Alley. We'll see it. You'll see it. You Absolutely, know, yeah. you know, right not really. Del Toro's movies. Go to movie snack. I don't get uh, the movies a lot. Peanut M and M's, Reese's Pieces. Okay, okay. And what about Brad Bird for animated director? He's great. The Incredibles, Ratatouille. Yeah. He's got some great. He's got a great favorite um, Brad line. Bird movie, The Iron Giant. Oh, I forgot about The Iron Giant. Yeah, great choice. Ryan, did you rank the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episodes in your episode six review? Yes, I did. At the it's end. At the end. Yes. Can't wait for Fast Nine, says Amari. I know Ryan's not as excited. Not as excited for it. <laughs> but we know you kind of love those movies, Amari. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that for sure. 32 of you guys, thank you so much for all being here and tuning in with us. Still having fun. No, and really the Oscars are back on. Conversation. I think we're getting supporting actress next, guys, which is a very toss-up. Not up. as big as the other ones, but it's still big. Stephen Ewan, Invincible. Oh, it's visual guys, effects. Watch Invincible on Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's my mother took me to watch Terminator 2 at the theaters. Uh, I'm pretty sure she didn't know what the movie was about. And to her and my surprise, we got to see some stuff. We got to see T-1000 get his head blown off and then form back together. And Arnold cut his arm skin to reveal a robot hand. And I just remember glancing at my mom a few times trying to see if this was okay for me to watch. And mm -hmm. my mom playing it cool as if she meant to bring me to this movie. Um, but just so you guys know, I'm Team Minari. I want Minari to win the picture, but it's not. <laughs> Duke it out with future robots with her son in 1991. The way that the technology and the expertise in visual effects has advanced in the 30 years since T2 is staggering. They have become the this is easily in many of the biggest <laughs> films in cinema history. And with each year, those who are the best in the world top even themselves and take the art to another level, like this year's nominees. Love and Monsters. Matt Sloan, Still need to see Jennifer Love and Monsters. Jamilary, I've heard good things. Matt Everett and Brian Cox. The Midnight They're Sky. also in Australia. <laughs> the Midnight Sky. Corn. Matthew Kasner, Christopher Lawrence, Sky. Max Solomon, and David Watkins. Mulan, Sean Faden, Anders Langlands, Seth Meyers, no, Cody, Mulan. Well. <laughs> one and only Ivan, Nick Great Davis, movie. Greg Fisher, Ben Jones, and Santiago Coloma Martinez. And Tennis. Andrew Jackson, David Lee, Andrew Lockley, and Andrew Scott Warner. Fisher. And the Oscar goes to Tennis. Tenet. Tenet wins, guys. There you go. There you go. Tenet's first win. Should have got nominated for score. It's crazy that Ludwig Gorenson didn't get nominated. For there you go. Uh, well, all my colleagues are uh, overseas, unfortunately. For them, they have to let me speak. So this is what you get. Uh, it's amazing. Amazing. Our, our visual effects team on uh, Tenet, we did so many things, and there are so many departments. We have well, to thank, thank Christopher Nolan. Not just in our own, but in uh, you know the art department and Nathan and camera department. Tenet's took it, guys. Don't worry, we're and good. Of course, our stunt coordinator, George Cottle, is amazing. <laughs> well, Mari knew uh, Tenet. <laughs> and, but it all goes back to our director, uh, Christopher Nolan. He... Uh, he leads us all and, and uh, gives us amazing opportunities to do amazing things. And uh, I'd like to thank my family, my wife, my amazing crew, 
and uh, and my father, who who won this same award. Thank you. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, that's really cool. Mm. Is Brad Pitt next? Yeah. Booth, There's Brad. We got a ponytail. Ooh, and we're doing supporting actress next, guys. Big, big acting category. Godzilla. Brad Pitt is Team Godzilla. <laughs> There's your winner, Jung Yoon. Amanda Seifert, he was the film version of Romeo and Juliet, the Leo version. Amanda, me too. For Maria Bakalova, it was all about Bakalova. <laughs> she write out Marilyn's quote, I'm going to be a great movie star. Bakalova. 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 Welcome. Cody, no, but seriously, would you say? Olivia Coleman's family would gather at Christmas time. Get popcorn and watch the sound of music. Is she gonna do it again? Cody, Olivia Coleman, really Mitchell's versus the machine. Who's great? Disney movies, like Snow White, <sighs> Snow Give it to Glenn. And Poor Glenn. Give it to Glenn Close. Come on. <laughs> These are the nominees for the best supporting actors. No, Yu Jung Yoon. Yu Jung Yoon. Yu Jung Yoon. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> The grandma. From She's the like, party. really me? I love her. She, I love her reactions to when she wins. Huh? Good for Cody, her. Go up there and hug Brad Pitt. <laughs> you can't. Damn it, hmm. Brad Pitt. Good for her. Good for her. Finally, nice to meet you. <laughs> Mr. Brad. We were together in It's a real honor to meet you. Uh, as you know, I'm from Korea, and actually, my name is Yo Jung Yoon, and if most of European people call me Yo Young, and some of them call me Yo Jung, but tonight, you are all forgiven. <laughs> 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 She plays the mother in Minari, Cody. I just to watch the television. But even on the television, I'm just watching like a television program for us. But me being here by myself, it's I cannot believe I'm here. Yes. Okay, let me put myself together. Um, thank you for the tremendous thanks to the academy members that who vote for me. And and that's the speech, okay? They usually say, okay, thank you for the <laughs> um, wonderful minority that um, Stephen, Isaac, Yeri, oh, and Noel Allen. We became a family. And most of all, of all, Lee Isaac Chung, without him, I couldn't be here tonight. Mm -hmm. I think the so, bride pet Tom So, thanks to you. Too many thanks to you. And I'd like to thank to, well, see, I don't believe in competition. I, how can I win Glenn Close? We know who Glenn Close. I've been watching her so many performances. So this is just uh, all the nominees, five nominees. Uh, we are the winner for the different movie, different role. We play the different role. So we cannot compete each other. Tonight I'm here. It's just uh, I have just a little bit luck. I think maybe I'm luckier than you. Uh, <laughs> I'm luckier. <laughs> Sure. Anyway, She's funny. Mark, you gotta watch Minari. Why didn't you watch Minari? I gotta check it out. Who make me go out So, beloved son, all in good. This is the result because I 
because mommy works so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for her. You're well deserved. Best speech of the night. Yes, you yes, said it, Jacob. Well I agree. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, follow Brad. <laughs> it's Brad Pitt. <laughs> I don't blame her. <laughs> I don't blame her for following Brad. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, for sure. For sure. TVB9, thank you for being here. Take it, you late. Take care, buddy. Uh, this is one of the first Oscars I've seen where the camera has the people accepting an award being to the left side of the screen. Usually, yeah, they're doing it a little differently this year. So everyone seems very happy for for um, Yu Jong Yoon, Yu which is great. Yeah. Ryan, which would be worse, Taco Bell making an MCU movie or Michael Bay making an MCU movie? Both would be really bad. But you got to pick one. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> Uh, Artemis Fowl should have been nominated for Best Picture. Ryan, do you agree? Yes. Well, come on. It's a crime. It didn't win. Yeah, without or get a, nominated. See, man. Yeah, without a, without a doubt, guys. You guys just Colin Farrell was fantastic. So what about two Halle Josh Berries? Madden. Yeah. Mm, so, 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 yeah, so, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I wonder if Joaquin will show up. He's in the starring list, so he has. To. Okay. Well, he won Best Actor, so he's presenting Best Actor. And I wonder if uh, <laughs> Renee Zellweger. Will be. I was surprised he even showed up at the the Golden Globes. <laughs> <laughs> Yu Jung Yoon is making history as the first Korean actress to win an Oscar. Congratulations to her! Yeah, that's that's amazing. It's amazing. For sure, she had the best speech of the night, though. She was funny. She's like, "Oh, Brad." Well, Brad, hey, Brad. I love movies. Notice how she followed Brad out, and she was supposed to go the other way out. That's great. <laughs> That's very, very good. Very, very good. All righty. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I want to see how many likes we have. Thank you all for being here. When I'm trying to explain something to somebody and I just don't have all the 42 words. likes. Thank you guys so much. If you're new in here, definitely hit that like button. Cats is the real snub for best picture. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> Artemis Fowl was amazing. Hey, we got Anthony in here. Chupapi. What's up, Chupapi? What up, Chupapi? How you doing? <laughs> Anthony, we're doing great, man. Just watching the Oscars, you know? The usual. Enjoying stuff. life. Um, the worst snub is the room getting a best picture nomination. Not getting a best picture yeah, nomination. Crazy. Yes. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. Oh, Olivia Coleman did have a great speech that when she won. That was funny. But um yes, Minari did great. How is it so far? Well, um Well, how is it? It's um it's going good. It's um Tenet just won visual effects. I know you saw that movie. I'm good. Daniel Kaluuya. Yep. Um, but yeah, pretty fun, entertaining so far. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Ryan, what if they made a Justice League versus the Avengers movie? What would you think of that? That would be really awesome, but it's never. I don't happen. think it'll ever happen. <laughs> hey, Grace Jang, hello there. Welcome. Is this your first time watching Ryan's video? Grace, yeah. Let, let us, us know. know what the first video you saw on my channel was. If you're new, new, if you're new in here, let us know. We're I curious. Please let us know. If this is your first. We want time. to know how the YouTube algorithm. Works. I want to know where you guys found us and what you did to find. I'm very curious. Rock Conklin, that is crazy. Whoa. That movie sucks. Like, Does it really have a 91? That is ridiculous. That's crazy. Wow. Absurd. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Grace is new. Hi. Welcome. How Grace, did you find us? I'm curious. What did you was type in on YouTube to find us? Was it a video? Just curious. I'm curious. Just curious. Another big snub was Jack and Jill. Such a masterpiece. Oh. oh. We're just throwing out so many masterpieces. Oh, here. yeah. And a food fight, definitely. <laughs> what if the Willoughby's had a Best Animated Feature nomination? Well, <laughs> the Oscars are back on. <laughs> oh, it's Halle Berry. <laughs> now I'm hooked. I was looking up Oscar live streams. Well, thank you for finding us. There we go. Thank you for subscribing, too. We appreciate it. Thank you, Grace, so much. We appreciate you being here. 
so, so much. If you aren't here, consider clicking that subscribe button because Ryan makes videos on a weekly basis. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. We really appreciate that. Production design. Production design. Um, I call she Max. looks so happy. <laughs> oh, you can't watch the Oscars in Canada. And Karen is new also. Welcome, Karen. Thank you for being here. Great to see all these new faces in here. It's great. Well, we're glad you can watch with us, Grace. And then crafting with Shirley is new. She found you because you had the best Oscar oh, watch Jay's party back. offering. Huh. Yes. Thank you for Jay's saying. Back. Welcome back. Brian, did you sneeze into your armpit? Uh, yes, I did. Wow. Right. <laughs> no, into my elbow. Brian, you're going with Mank for this, right? Definitely Mank. Enjoy the channel, guys. These guys are great. I've been here for a while, and I think that all of his videos are great. Zachary, we appreciate the kind words, man. Thank you so much. Elizabeth Keenan worked in Aberdeen for 15 years. Guys, we're watching the Oscars, not talking about smelly armpits. <laughs> Going Mank, Jacob. All right. Jay lives in Canada. He's watching the Oscars. Hmm. There you That's go. It's only one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would go Oscar unless. <laughs> Like, and uh, Mank, I thought, yeah, like the Irishman did. And Mank gets its first award of the night. Maybe its only award for production design. Yeah, I'm not. A, I wasn't a fan of Mank. I mean, You're not alone there. there I was, appreciate it more than like it. Ah, Karen's going best score. Karen, who do you have winning best score? I'm curious. Who's David Fincher? And the Oscar goes to Taco Bell. I guess so. Have CTV you said? Have you said who your moderator for your live streams is going to be? We haven't decided yet. We're still we're still waiting it out. But um, Zachary, we have you in mind for sure. What's going on, JPX? Are you kidding me? Not Tenant. Brian, what are your thoughts on Tenant winning production design? Maybe I would have preferred that over Mank, but I knew Mank was winning this. It's gotcha. In this category, every award. Shows. Gotcha. Gotcha. So. Um, Tenet just did win visual effects, though. You going with Soul, Karen? I think we are also. I think we all are all going for Just to make it right. And, you know, um, when I was young, I never realized that this was a career that was even a possibility. There were so many people that helped me along the way and guided me. And I'm so grateful to all of them. And especially to my wife, Louise, who inspires me every day. Thank you so much. Happy for Mank. It won its first award. Maybe it's the only one. I think Chicago 7 is going to be the only Best Picture nominee not to win an Oscar. Interesting. Interesting. Cinematography is one of those jobs that you have. Cinematography. A lot of, I think you have Land. Yeah. <laughs> Best score is always one of my favorite categories. I'm going with Soul. It was a beautiful score. Judas and the Black Messiah. Excellent cinematography. Cinematography for News of the World is good. In Nomadland, Joshua James Richards was inspired by allowing people to exist naturally within a raw landscape. Mm. And finally, in the trial of Chicago 7, Faden Papa Michael finds a visual layer nice, nice. to establish a pulse. And the Oscar goes to Nomadland. <sighs> Eric Messenschmidt. Mank! Mank! What? Wow. Wow. There's an upset right there. I guess Mank is not this only is two Oscars oh, now. No, people are gonna be mad. No Mad Land lost this. Mank wins cinematography. Wow. wow. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Oh, come on. Wow. <laughs> Cody. 
Boo. Wow. Um, he did not see that coming. He definitely uh, did not. Wow. Uh, I, I wish I could cut this into five pieces because um, it's such an honor to be Cody. nominated <laughs> amongst all of you. Uh, it's incredible honor. Um, David, thank you. Thank you. For, wow. Uh, Wow. Creating an environment where we could do our what a tragedy movie. Mulan didn't win. Yes. And, uh, to be perfectly honest, I haven't watched any of these movies, but I was hoping Glenn Close would win an Oscar finally. Yeah, she should have won last year. That's for sure. Thank you for the endless support. Everybody on Twitter is like, Mank, come No, look on, what bro. Jay. Look what Jay said. I'm actually glad Mank won. That actually, I liked its black and white cinematography. Jay, I don't care about your <laughs> Thank you for any Cody. Well, Aaron Johnson's a fan of Mank. That's great. And look at Sirius uh, Black, Gary Oldman. <laughs> Harry Potter fan here. Brian, Will, Alex, Who had Mank for cinematography? I think Larry made a last minute production uh, song in there. Interesting. You, uh, uh, Make my job Didn't see that coming, Mank winning an Oscar and, for some, um, first Oscar win for black and white since the artist. Our, wow, yeah. Tolerance is <laughs> and, uh, the Academy well, loves the black and white. Jay asked if you want to step outside. Let's do it. All right, I'll see you guys out there. <laughs> Harrison Ford and Viola Davis is coming up. There you go. There you go. Um, Hey, Luke, what's up? I add this video on my best videos of 2021 playlist. Thank you. There's Lynn, Cody. Luke, you're amazing, man. Thank you. Lynn! Kramer versus Kramer. I was six weeks old, and according to my mother, I was the only one not crying in the theater. It remains very special to me to this day. Here's a special look at my new movie, In the Heights. Oh, yes! In the Heights! I hope I get an early screener for that. He is the Paragua guy. Very, very nice. I love this musical. Fire! Look at the fireworks. Change the world got, someday. A good amount of people got to see it. Early. I wish I was one of those people. You know, my buddy Leo. You got to see this uh, Abuela. Elliot movie I put in a. Well, it comes out the same day as Loki, June 11th. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the kind words from my voice. <laughs> Cody loves and nights. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, that was me singing. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. I heard Rachel Reviews got an early screener for In the Heights. Yeah, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of Rachel. Yeah. Um, nothing for Hamilton. Come on. Come on. Exactly, Jay. Exactly. <laughs> um, South Korea needs to do a great job at the Oscars even more. Like, it was an equal level with Italy and France. Isn't Roma the first black and white movie to win an Oscar? Maybe. The Artist? The Artist. Probably the artist. I just rewatched Order of the Phoenix. I forgot how great Omen was in that franchise. Um, let's see here. Um, <sighs> appreciate it, guys. Thank Pre you. I watched Ryan a few times, but just more of a Sean Chandler fan. Hey, Sean's great. Don't get me wrong. Sean's great. Ryan just did a and a with Sean Chandler over on Jay Vader's channel, who's in the chat. I did, yeah. Go yeah. check it out. If you didn't, if you weren't there. Um, I told you, I, you have a great voice. Well, I know, Amari, but thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You guys are so kind. Uh, how many likes do we have in the stream, Ryan? Do we know? Here's how Let's I get my kids and, and myself to eat more apples. We have 42 likes. Thank you, guys. If you guys are new in here, please.
please hit that like we button. We want to get this to 50 likes. Yes, we're trying to get to 50 likes. Thank you, guys. Hit that like button. And if you are new in here, let us know if you're new, where you found the, the stream, and if you could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated because Ryan makes videos on a weekly basis. And so far, positive vibes, no dislikes. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Ryan, are you excited for The Gray Man, the Russo's next movie? Oh, yeah. Mm, nice. I've um, seen some set photos of Ana de Armas, Chris Evans, and Ryan Gosling. Can't wait. Ryan, what would you do if Mank won Best Picture? I'd, I'd be done. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, do you still play so your bye instruments? Bye. Not as much as I used to, but I definitely still have them. Mulan got snubbed for Best Picture. Mm. Ryan, do you want to answer Luke's question? <laughs> Luke. <clears throat> well, I see he's are you guys brothers or best friends we're best friends no 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 <laughs> we are brothers we are brothers blood brothers and guess who's older between the two of us guess who's older i'm curious if you'll get the right answer who's older we're 11 months apart What haven't they done yet? I'm trying to think. They haven't done song. They haven't done score. And you should have won. Damn it, Mari. Come on, man. You're supposed to say silent. <laughs> You're older, Cody. Cody's older. They're father and son. <laughs> Cody. Yes, Damn it, we're Mari. father and son. <laughs> Ryan is older. Cody is older. Cody is older. Okay, so we have a few Rock people Conklin thinking. Conklin thought I was older. <laughs> uh, no, I am older. Cody is older. Cody is older, and Ryan is younger. Rock Conklin, yes. sorry, you were wrong. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. I put in an early screener request. Hopefully, I do. On what? HBO Max? Warner Brothers screeners. Oh, okay. Waitlist. You got waitlisted? Yep. Cool. <clears throat> Ryan is younger. That is correct. Harrison Ford. I wonder how he feels about Mads Mikkelsen. <laughs> Why? Indy 5. I have some concerns about Indy 5. Some editorial suggestions that were prepared after the screening. Harrison Ford's like 80 years old, uh, almost 80. So, opening too choppy. Why is this voiceover track? He is my uncle, Jack. He sounds drugged. Oh. Were they all on drugs? Deckard at the piano is interminable. Flashback dialogue confusing. Is he listening to a tape? <clears throat> Why do we need the third cut of the eggs? <laughs> the synagogue music is awful on the street. We're going to use Van Gallus. Up to Zora's death, the movie is deadly dull. <laughs> this movie gets worse. Every screening. <laughs> <clears throat> that movie was called Blade Runner. Jay's, fa Jay's favorite movie. <laughs> Aren't you guys concerned about Indy 5? Or are you excited? Let us know in the chat. The editing process uh, can often get a little complicated. Film editing. Possibilities may seem endless. But the editor will work tirelessly, often in isolation, to make thousands of choices, placing the right piece of the right length in the right order to arrive at the best version of what the movie wants to be. I'm excited for Indy 5 because James Mangold and yeah, Mads Mikkelsen just got cast most recently. Zane is concerned. Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Favorite Harrison Ford movie outside of Star Wars and Indiana Jones? Uh, that's a call. Witness. Love Witness. Not Fugitive? The Fugitive. That was a great too. Oh, what did I pick for editing? I picked Trial. No man living. Harrison Ford said my name is what he She's a huge fan. What did you pick, Ryan, for film editing? I picked uh, Trial of Chicago 7. Nicole E.G. Nielsen. 
prior to the Chicago 7, Alan Bongard. And the Oscar goes to... Sound of Metal. Oh. Sound of Metal! Wow! Wow! I'm happy Sound of Metal won. That's great. Two awards for Sound of Metal well, now. You're right. Trial Chicago 7, Oscar list. Wow. Oscar list for Trial Chicago 7. Wow. It got Irishman. <laughs> Damn. Very, very cool. Did it get like 10 nominations? What, Trial? Trial. Look at, look at. Wow. How many Oscar nominations did Trial Chicago 7 get? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> Someone let us know in the chat. You're an inspiration for me. Um, I'm from Denmark, and I would like to greet Denmark because they are extremely bold at funding the Danish Film School, so we students can develop our craft and language for four years. That's amazing. This is what you get. So just continue doing it. Um, I would like to thank uh, Eve and Angus and my amazing assistant, Alex. And my See you, Kevin. Kevin. Rock, paper, scissors. You guys raised up our dad. Yes, Sound of Metal 1 film editing. Thank my agents, Hillary. And Trial of Chicago six. 7 at six noms. I'd like to thank Amazon and Caviar. And everyone from cast and crew for sharing your enormous talents, the deaf community for inviting me in, from very inspiring and rewarding worlds. Um, I would like to thank all my friends, my families, my parents. I have to remember my parents, my sisters, my wife she did, and my kids, Mingus and Ella. Uh, they always allow me to spend time with my big love affair editing, so thank you for that. Um, but one above all, Darius Mara, thank you for your incredible vision. Thank you for inviting me on this life-changing, I would say, journey. And it's been like following a rainbow for me. And today, I feel like we found the gold. Thank you. Aww. Ooh. That was a good, nice speech. Well done. Mm. Viola Davis. Yeah, Viola. It's going to be a humanitarian award. Who's receiving it? Angelo wants <laughs> Each one of us has lived through some devastation, some loneliness, some weather superstorm or spiritual superstorm. When we look at each other, we must say, I understand. I understand how you feel because I have been there myself. My great friend, filmmaker and philanthropist, Tyler Perry personifies empathy. Tyler knows what it is to be hungry, to be without a home, to feel unsafe and uncertain. So when he buys groceries for 1,000 of his neighbors, supports a women's shelter, or quietly pays tuition for a hardworking student, Tyler is coming from a place of shared experience. Tyler paid for the funerals of the black men whose names were on the placards at marches. In Atlanta, where his film studios employ thousands, he created Camp Quarantine, making it possible to safely continue making a living. Everyone in Tyler's I just tweeted, Meg, two Oscars? Bruh. And this was just <laughs> the most generous person that I knew growing up was clearly my mother. She taught me to never force <clears throat> somebody else to be the hero and never sit around waiting for chariots. Find a way, find a way. She would say, Junior, you find a way. Well, in that finding a way, she would always encourage me to help someone else. I remember getting out of bed and literally stepping on someone on the floor. And I, I go in the kitchen like, who are these pictures? Shh. They need a place to stay. She didn't have much, but whatever she had, she was willing to share. So that's mm. very much in my DNA. 
it is how he was raised. That if somebody reaches out, then he'll reach out to somebody else, and they'll reach out to somebody else. When COVID hit, it was really important for me to get everybody back to work. I'm always the person that says, okay, this is happening. What do we do to fix it? How do we fight it? He fed all these people during the pandemic. He made sure people had what they needed to get through it. The Perry Foundation has been about transferring tragedy into triumph. I don't want to have a foundation that is targeted in one specific thing because the need is so great all over many things. Battered women, traffic children, poverty, homelessness, addiction, whatever we can do, wherever we can show up to help. There is no harm in caring. Mm. He's going to create opportunities for other people, like opportunities were created for him. He's going to encourage other people the way people encouraged him. When you've been given a voice, there's a huge responsibility to use it in a way that sustains change. So he created a living legacy that keeps on giving. What's better than that? Welcome to Tyler Perry Studios. This man exemplifies the best you could ask from any human, and that is to care about your fellow human beings. It goes back to my mother, Jim. You find a way. Find a way. Mm. Tyler, I know you never do what you do for thanks, but I'm grateful for the countless ways you work to make ours a better world. It is my honor to present to you the Gene Herschelt's Humanitarian Award. Thank you, Tyler, for all your work. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Thank you for all your work, Tyler. to uh, the Board of Governors, especially to Whoopi Goldberg, Ava. You know, when I set out to help someone, uh, it is my intention to do just that. I'm not trying to do anything other than meet somebody of their humanity. Like, uh, case in point, this one time, I remember I was, maybe it was about 17 years ago, I rented this building and we were using it for production. And I was walking to my car one day and I see this woman coming up out of the corner of my eye and I say, mm, she's homeless, let me give her some money. Judgment. I wish I had time to talk about judgment. Anyway, I reach in my pocket and I'm about to give her the money. She says, excuse me, sir, do you have any shoes? It stopped me cold because I remember being homeless and having one pair of shoes and they were bent over at the heels. So I was like, yeah. So I took her into, into the studio. She was hesitant to go in, but we went in. We go to wardrobe and there are all these boxes and everything around the walls and fabrics and cracks of clothes. So we ended up having to stand in the middle of the floor. So as we're standing there, we got wardrobe, we find some shoes, we have to put them on, I stand up, I'm waiting for her to look up. And all this time she's looking down, she finally looks up, she's got tears in her eyes. She mm -hmm. said, thank you, Jesus, my feet are off the ground. In that moment, I, I just I, I recall her saying to me, I thought she would hate me for asking. I'm like, how can I hate you when I used to be you? How can I hate you when I had a mother who grew up in a Jim Crow South in Louisiana, a rural Louisiana, right across the border from Mississippi, who at nine or 10 years old was grieving the death of Emmett Till. As she got a little bit older, she was grieving the death of the civil rights boys and the, the little girls who were in the bombing in Alabama. She grieved all this all these years. And I remember being a little boy and coming home and she was at home like, what are you doing at home? You're supposed to be at work. She was in tears that day. She said there was a bomb threat. And she couldn't believe that someone wanted to blow up this place where she worked, where she took care of all these towers. It was the Jewish community center. My mother taught me to refuse hate. She taught me to refuse blanket judgment. And in this time, and with uh, all of the internet and social media and algorithms and everything that wants us to think a certain way, the 24-hour news cycle, it is my hope that all of us would teach our kids, and not only to remember, just refuse hate. Don't hate. <clears throat> I, I, I refuse to hate someone because they are Mexican or because they are black or white. <laughs> or LBGTQ. I refuse to hate someone because they are a police officer. I refuse to hate someone because they are Asian. 
I would hope that we would refuse hate. And I want to take this Gene Herschel Humanitarian Award and dedicate it to anyone who wants to stand in the middle, no matter what's around the wall, stand in the middle, because that's where healing happens. That's where conversation happens. That's where change happens. It happens in the middle. So anyone who wants to meet me in the middle to refuse hate, to refuse blanket judgment, and to help lift someone's feet off the ground, this one is for you too. God bless you. And wow. Thank you mm -hmm. thank Beautiful speech. That's the best speech of the night right there. That was, yeah. Wow. Tyler Perry, well said. So good. Very good. Wow. Oh, Zendaya is going to be announcing, which is great. Ryan, let's catch up on some of these. Sorry, guys. That was a very moving speech. Had to listen to it. Um, let's see here. Um, yep, everyone nodding to Viola Davis. Um, trial of Chicago 7 is not going to win anything. Ryan, do you think that's the case? It's going to get Irishman. You think so? Okay, <laughs> wow. Irishman. Um, <laughs> my favorite Harrison Ford movie outside of Indiana Jones and Star Wars, The Fugitive, <clears throat> Fritnick, Air Force One. Yep, those are some good ones right there. Trial is my pick here. Um, they're making a fifth Indiana Jones movie. Why? money um i'm personally excited but not by much until i actually see a picture or footage i stopped being excited about indiana jones after crystal skull um all right fair enough fair enough guys fair enough um sometimes i don't like watching movies that i've read the book to because it's usually disappointing yes he is very articulate seeing you guys for the first time tonight um my phone died so i'm on my desktop I'm you're doing a great job Thank you, Shirley. We appreciate, I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank appreciate you. that very much. Um, how long is the Oscars? Does anybody know like what time it's going to be over? At eleven. Eleven. So we got about a half hour left of the award ceremony, guys. And let's see what we're looking at right now for views and for likes and such. See if we're close to our fifty like goal. That would be well, great. Um, let's see here. We're at 45 likes. That's great. We just need five more likes. So if you have not hit that like button yet, please do so. Five and more likes. It man. would very much be appreciated if we could get to that 50 like mark. That would be fantastic. Um, guys, we're having a blast doing this. Have about a half hour left of the thing. And then maybe we'll quickly address some of your last minute questions or thoughts as the ceremony comes to an end. And then that'll that'll be it. Exactly. That'll be it, guys. So um I think this one's a little bit more slow paced than the other ones, but we're still having a great time and we hope you guys are too. Just to clarify that Mank won best cinematography for a black and white film since the artist and Roma forgot that Alfonso Cuaron's Roma won an Oscar for best cinematography. It did. Yeah, it did. So it looks like they still have the music categories to do. Um, and then best actor, best actress, and then best picture. What else haven't they done yet? Have I missed anything? I feel like those are the other ones. The music categories. We got actor, actress, uh, sound, picture. score. Sorry, they did sound. Score, song, and picture. <clears throat> yeah. So that's probably how they'll break it up. They'll do the song ones, then they'll do the actor ones, and then best picture. With the granddaddy list. Thank you, Falcon B. We appreciate that. Thank you, Falcon B. Everybody, go ask your family to like this video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ask your family members, your mom, your dad. Did your they mom. do score? No, they have not done score yet. I think Zendaya is coming up next, and she's probably going to do both music categories, score and original song. So um, that's probably the direction. Yeah, and it looks like it's already coming back now. Are we going to see Zendaya? <clears throat> we are. Oh, she looks beautiful. Oh, that best dress tonight. She looks beautiful. That's my favorite dress tonight. Best score, guys. The only nomination. The only nomination. News of the World by James Newton Howard. Soul by Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross, and John Batiste. There's your winner. So. Mm. And the Oscar goes to Trent Reznor, Atticus Ross, and John Batiste. Yay! Someone 
and soul. Sweat. That's John Batiste. Okay, so he does. Uh, he's on Stephen Colbert's band. He is. Okay, nice. Happy for them. I'm happy Soul has two awards tonight. That's great. Deserves more, but. Trent Atticus and Ron. What's going on there? Hope Carey wins for actress. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Very happy for Soul. It's great. Facts. It's the same 12 notes Duke Ellington had, Bach had. It's the same 12, Nina Simone, and all the nominees. I just want to first point out that every gift is special. Every contribution with music that comes from the divine into the instruments, into the film, into the minds and hearts and souls of, of every person who hears it, the stories that happen when you listen to it and watch it and the stories you share, the moments you create, the memories you make, man, it's just so incredibly special. And, and, True. And I just want to first recognize the nominees. Thank you so much for that. We really appreciate you for the support. Thank you so much. Incredibly humble and grateful to the Academy for this recognition. And I'm just thankful to God for those 12 notes, man. That's so yeah. cool. Thank you to my parents, Sulaita, for your support and love coming here with me, flew on the plane for the time of the year. My parents took me around clubs in New Orleans when I was 10 years old, put me in piano lessons with Shirley, William. <laughs> Just so much, so much has happened. This moment is a culmination of a series of miracles. And I just can't even go into all of it. We don't have much time, but it's just so incredibly powerful to be standing here in the lineage that we come from in the lineage in this film. The collaborators on this film are the best that you could have ever asked for. The most generous, rigorously visionary collaborator. Pete Doctor is a... I love this man. Pete Doctor, he's a genius and a visionary. Dana Murray, Kip Powers, Tom McDougal at Disney, thank you for welcoming us to the family with open arms. So much of a, of a true collaborative process. Um, my team, thank y'all for just dealing with me because my get ideas all the time and change the direction. Y'all holding me down with Michael, Chris, Adam, all the people. And uh, thank y'all so much for doing what y'all do and putting it on the line, putting yourself out there. It's hard to put yourself out there. Just thank y'all for putting yourself out there. I'm a fan of like everybody here. So much love, much light to you. I love you even if I don't know you. Later on. Awesome. 12 notes. I love John Batiste. The combination of John, Trent, and Atticus, maybe one of my favorite collaborations on a score. It was so well done. So well done. When the right song becomes a part of the right movie, it stays with us forever. You can never hear that song again without thinking about its movie partner. That is the power. Original song. Although most of the nominees were able to make it to Los Angeles, there are a pair joining us from Sweden. So here are the nominees for best song. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys, can't play these. I don't want to get copyrighted so and also they didn't play them which is interesting but this is speak now of course i would love to play these but we don't want to get copyrighted so sorry we got io from scene aoc sorry from scene Um, let's see. You got Hear My Voice from the Trial of the Chicago 7. <laughs> 
And you have Fight For You from Judas and the Black Messiah. Oh, they did. That's right. Yeah, they did perform in the pre-show. We didn't see all of it, so I'm glad they got to perform, though. That's good. That would be my pick to win. You want? Fight For You. Gotcha. I think here my voice should win so Chicago 7 can win something. And then Hootsavik from Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Figer Saga. Hootsavik. Interesting choice. All right, here we go. Now we can play it. Some days ago. Judas in the one. Wow. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Wow. Judas and the Black Messiah. That's a really good song. I'm happy it won. Great. No speak now. One Night in Miami as well is Oscarless. What is? One night. No, it's not. Oh one Night in Miami. It won. Um, it didn't win. I thought it won something in the beginning. Not only to win, but to be a part of such an important, important story. So thank you so wow. much. Wow. Thank you to the Academy. I've always wanted to say that. Um, and of course, my collaborators, D Mile and Tierra, telling us the song wouldn't be what it was without them. Of course, I have to thank God for giving us these gifts and uh, my parents, my, my beautiful mother who's here with me today and my father at home, all those days of listening to Sly and the Family Stone and Curtis Mayfield and Marvin Gaye, they really paid off. So thank you, Dad. Um, thank you so much to Archie and um, Shaka King and everybody that was involved in this movie and gave me the call and gave us the call to, to do this record. I'm so, so grateful. Um, I just want to say this, you know, musicians, Filmmakers, I, I believe we have an opportunity and a responsibility to me um, to tell the truth. Her won an Oscar, nice. To, to write history the way that yeah. it was and, and how it connects us um, to today and, and, and what we see going on in the world today. Pleasure, and um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, I have no words. I'm, I'm just so, so, so happy and grateful. Maybe it didn't win and, One Night in Miami. I thought it yeah, did. But knowledge is power, music is power. <laughs> And as long as I'm standing, I'm always going to fight for us. I'm always going to fight for my people and fight for what's right. And I think that's what music does. And that's what storytelling does. So thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you go. Guys, go see my new movie, uh, Bad Trip, <laughs> with Eric Andre. That's not about that right now. We're about to play a game, okay? Quest is going to play a song from a movie, and we're going to try to figure out if it was an Oscar nominee, an Oscar winner, or none of the above, okay? I'm going to ask one of you, I'm going to figure out who I'm going to talk to, because it's going to be a fun game. Don't look nervous. I guess ain't nobody talk to you all in a while. Y'all okay? Everybody like, <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to find somebody. I'm going to find somebody who's into music. Let me see you. Oh, see, I got I got to go to my girl over here. Hey, Andrew Day, you want to play this game with me? You ready for this? Give up microphone. That's the mic hand because we got to catch shit mics. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Here we go. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Quest play the song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this an Oscar winner or just an Oscar nominee or none of the above? Uh, I mean, it's a brilliant song. It probably wasn't even. Oh! Damn, oh, they went there. They oh! Went there. <laughs> The score won the award, but none of the songs 
Trump is going to nominate. Ain't that crazy? That sounds about right. Here. <laughs> I don't know how much that's going to cost you, ABC, but it happens. <laughs> we at a train station. You don't know what you're going to get here. All right. You see me find somebody. <clears throat> game with. Okay. I got, I got to go to my boy. You know what I'm saying? My get out see, partner. Save me now. You know what I'm Daniel saying? Daniel. <laughs> 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 get out friend. You know, everybody going to save this brother. Yeah, you did. You did. I saved you. He's going to be out of the house. He's going to be out of the house. I stood up hard for my job. Yeah. Drove it to the woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and picture sure we drove off. Yes, we did. It's it's never happened again. Yeah. It never happened again. Never. I would never get caught with uh, a woman like that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, here we go, brother. You ready for this? Yeah. This is funny. I'm not crazy, right? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy tonight. It's going to be crazy tonight. And now it's a get out sequel. <laughs> All right. Yes, get out was mentioned. Yes, Judas has two Oscars. No, Get Out's not getting a sequel. Yeah, this just... is going on for too long. Which I think is a <laughs> the <effing> disgrace. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Ryan's just... Oh, Ryan's I'm, tweeting. Ryan's tweeting. Okay. Welcome back, Zane. You came at a <laughs> weird time. Glenn Close just shook her booty. <laughs> huh, I did the Don Cheeto gift. <laughs> Are we seriously still going with this? Get to the next door. <laughs> Oh my god. Patrick Preston, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Hope all is well. Wow. Um, guys, what's the highlight of the night? Glenn Close shaking her booty? Or <laughs> um wow. That was um interesting. Yeah, right, exactly, AJ. What is happening? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> See what I tweet, Cody? Hang on, let me go look. <laughs> I did the Don Cheadle gif. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's good. I like that. I wish there was no goal. Get to the next door. <laughs> Glenn Close is amazing, yes, and she just, yep. She just won the internet over with her little dance right there. Um, <laughs> that was uh, something. All right. Um, <laughs> um, which gif is it? The one where he's going like. Yeah, that one. That was what, award, one. what award show was that? Golden Globes. Okay. I think when uh, Jason Sudeikis was talking for Ted Lasso, he was like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, wrap it up, wrap it up. <laughs> That's funny. going on forever. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, wow. Um, we're getting close to the end, guys. That, that went on a little bit too long, though. They still have to do actor, actress, and pitcher. So. When I'm trying to explain something to somebody. Uh, we're at 47 likes, guys. If we can get three more, do we get to 50? You guys would be the best. Thank you so much. Can we do that? If you haven't hit that like button yet, please, please do so. It will be greatly appreciated these award shows man are horrible with the comedy they need to stop it's god it's just, just bad like it was I cool just tweeted it, that. <laughs> like it was cool but like too much i would say Um, let's see here. I didn't like Mank, but I'm glad it won cinematography and production design. Yep. It did. Yeah. But yeah, guys, we should be getting to the close well, close to the end comedies. here. We should be getting Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Actress next. So if you guys are still here, get the like button going. And we have 50 likes, Cody. We have three more away. We need three more. So I'm not let's sure. Get to 50 likes by the end of this that would be huge if we could do that, guys. Huge if we could do that, guys. Yeah, that would be great. Um, Ryan, did you see News of the World yet? Yes. Yes, I have. And it was thought? good. It was okay. I didn't love it. Okay. Gotcha. Um. But Ryan did see it. Yeah, Ryan saw all the Oscar movies except the shorts and the documentaries. Except another round. That's the only documentary he's. Oh, that's a foreign language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone already made a gif of Glenn Close shaking her booty. Of course. Who else has been watching since the beginning of the live stream? Yes, Zach has been here since the beginning. Has anybody else been here since the beginning? If you've been here since the beginning of this stream, let us know. You're helping Chat. with our watch time. Thank if you, you so much. <laughs> You're helping us with the watch time, but if you do, you'll get a cookie, a oh, virtual cookie. cookie. <laughs> I will, I will send this to you. No. I'm just <laughs> Nicholas Lloyd has. Thank you. That's all right. Um, uh, what would you like to call us to call you? Is um, Bishmoi? Is that okay? Um, totally unrelated, but I finished the book Dune. Bring it on, Denis. Yeah, I want to read that book so bad. Falcon's been in and out. Great. Thank you so much, Falcon. We appreciate you. Anytime you've come in, we appreciate it, guys. Whether it's newer, re earlier, sooner. I've been here since today and the one with Jay. Daniel, there you go. You can call me Mes Melsa. 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 Got it. All righty. We're back. And Angela Bassett's here. Oh, no. Guys, it's the in memoriam. Of course, she's the mother of T'Challa in the MCU. Of course, you gotta bring her to Chadwick's death. It's the it's the oh Melissa Melissa. Okay. What are we gonna see? Oh no! We're gonna see Chadwick. We're gonna see. Let's just watch. I can't. I can't look at Chadwick, or else I'm gonna cry. Considering the enormity of our collective loss. And the often incomprehensible times we're living through, we wish to also acknowledge those precious lives lost to the violence of inequality, injustice, hatred, racism, and poverty. To all of those who left our lives too soon, we cherish the moments that we had the honor of having with you. Tonight, 
We want to celebrate the artists who gave us permission to dream. The technical pioneers and innovators who expanded our experience of movie love. Hey, what's going on, Beefer? Good to see you. Thank you. You will remain as we remember you in our hearts always. <sighs> As it runs, sun, the earth, the seas revolving. Oh, Ian Holm, yeah. Max von Sido. Another alien actor. Joel Schumacher. Joel Von Kahn, that's right. But in passing, we'll grow older every day. Christopher Plummer is absolutely big one. I can't play the music. Sorry. We're going to do Chad with last. Can't do the music. Sorry, guys. Ennio Morricone. Ennio Morricone, yep. Uh, I'm not ready for this. Sean Connery. Sean Connery, I forgot. Sean Connery passed away. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Some great legends we lost last year, man. 2020, fuck you. 2020, fuck you. Right, Cody? Without a doubt. And Kobe, too. And Kobe. I'm surprised they didn't show Kobe, because he did it. He won an Oscar. No, no they, they, his death came in time before the Oscars, so they showed Kobe. Oh, yeah, last year. That's right. Sorry. Uh, who introduced this section? Was that Viola? No, that was uh, Angela, Angela Bassett. Bassett. She and... played uh, T'Challa's mother in the MCU. She plays T'Challa's mother. Yep. In the Cecilie Tyson, I believe I saw, and I saw, I think I saw both of those names, AJ. Yeah, it's very upsetting. Um, so, what is the next award? It's probably going to be the Actor and Actress Award at Best Actor and Best Actress, as they have not done those yet. And then Best Picture will probably be last. Um, 2020 F off. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. It's unfortunate. So. Favorite Harrison Ford movie outside of Star Wars and Indiana Jones. We already talked about that. Witness. Well, that was beautiful, but memor memories will always live. Very true. Who do you think is presenting best picture? That is a good question. I don't know, Zachary. I have no idea. That's a good question. Who did it last year? I think it Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. Yeah. This is so fast paced, it's ridiculous. Maybe if we didn't well, have a stupid guest, the song segment. Five minutes worth of this joke song with right. Harry. Right. 
I agree, definitely. It was a, it was dragged out too much. I need to seriously stop with this yeah. attempt at comedy. It was very beautiful, surely. I agree. But um Look, we didn't come here for the freaking comedy, we came here for the awards. Sad those actors, Chadwick and Sean Connery are gone. Yes, very much so. Yeah, I, I forgot Sean Connery, Christopher Plummer passed away. Yeah, Ariel Ariel Morricone. Yeah. So, um, South Korea needs to do a great job at the Oscars even more. Like, it'll be in an equal level with Italy and France. Has Zendaya pre presented? Yes. Yes. She presented. She has. Yes. She presented best score and best song. If Chadwick wins, I'll cry. It'll be a very emotional moment. Tom Hanks should present best picture on time. <laughs> right. Not sure who is presenting best picture, though. They put comedy at the Oscars just to fill the three-hour runtime. Yeah, but you can do... There's other ways to fill the runtime, to be honest. Um, I couldn't tell. Yeah, it was um, score and song she presented. Um, yep. It has to be the director of Parasite who will present Best Picture. So it will be Bong Joon-ho again? Oh. I can't pick up the channel here that the Oscars are on. Gotcha. So it's different for everybody. No worries. No worries there, guys. We're getting close to the end. It's pretty late where we are, so our energy's gone down, so we apologize. But I think we're back. Connery, Plummer, and Morricone were all the Oscar winners in the 90s. Yeah. Rita Moreno. Best picture. Brian. We're already on best picture. They're doing best picture right now. Oh, they must be saving best actor for last or something. Maybe. Are they doing actor and actress last? What? They should do best picture last. Before act. The father, David Parfit, Jean Louis Levy, and Yeah, I'm. I told they're. I feel like they're doing best actor last. Maybe for Bozeman. I don't know, but. They're doing best picture right now, guys, and they haven't done best actor and actress yet. Absolutely clear. I'm not leaving my flat. Anthony Hopkins, terrific in the film. This isn't your flat, Anthony. Judas and the Black Messiah, Shaka King, Charles D. King, and Ryan Coogler, producers. It's not a question of violence or non-violence. It's a question of resistance to fascism or non-existence within fascism. I, I thought so too, AJ. I'm not sure what yeah, they're doing. Twitter's like, what? That's picture is supposed to be worse. You can't murder revolution. You can murder freedom, but you can't murder freedom. Oh, I am a revolutionary. I am revolutionary. Mank, Sian Chafin, Mank, this is weird. They're probably presenting best actor last. One. That's my guess. That's the only one. Minari, my movie.
Nomadland, Francis McDormand, Peter Spears, Mark It's so weird how they're doing it. And Chloe Zhao, producers. Everybody on Twitter's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I die, my friends will gather around the fire and toss a rock into the fire in memory of me. I think Nomadland's winning, but I don't go with Minari. I live in rural Ohio. Spectrum is not just installing Wi Fi. I'm already been using a digital box. I got you. I got you. Promising young woman, Ben Browning, Ashley Fox, Emerald Fell, and Josie McNamara. Cody Bo Burnham. Oh, yeah. yeah Have you guys seen Minari? Ryan has seen Minari. I have not been able to. Twice. I have not been able to check it out yet. Saga Metal, Bear Hammerling, and Sasha Ben Aroche producers. Oh, this is my this is my favorite scene in Sound of Metal. Chicago Bob Seven, the Irishman of this year. It's a yes or no question. When you came to Chicago, were you hoping for a confrontation with? The Good police? to see Joseph Gordon Lovett back in movies. Right, twenty hours later. Like, come on, like the the, the there's such long clips. I know, right? I'm concerned. You have to think about it. Give me a moment, would you, Fred? I've never been on trial so for my thoughts before. Finally, here we go. Jesus Christ. And the Oscar goes to Nomad Land. There it is. Congrats ah. to Nomad Land. Congrats to Zoe. Chloe. Nomad Land is your best picture winner. Ryan, would you be upset if Nomad Land, Patrick Gus? Oh, I'm not upset. I just wanted Minari to win personally. On behalf of my fellow producers, Peter Spears, Molly Asher, Dan Genvy, and the one and only Francis McDormand, we thank the Academy and we thank our brilliant fellow nominees. And we thank all the hearts and hands that come together to make this movie. From social yep. teachers, Jessica Bluter, who trusted us with her beautiful book. I was really hoping for a trial win here, but I knew it wouldn't happen, unfortunately. Wow, yeah, trial looks like it's going Oscarless. I'm so happy for them with the 50 likes. Hey, thank you guys so much for 50 likes. 50 likes, we did it, guys. All the people we met on the road, thank you for teaching us the power of resilience and hope, and for reminding us what true kindness looks like. I'm not sure, AJ. I'm not sure who's going to win. Fran, 
please watch our movie on the largest screen possible and one day i watched it at home soon, unfortunately take everyone you know into a theater shoulder to shoulder in that dark space and watch every film that's represented here tonight we give this one to our wolf oh! <laughs> Even he's like, what? <laughs> very weird. Why did Best Picture not last? It's very weird. All right, so they're doing the actor categories last. Wow, interesting. Well, um, clearly it wasn't a mistake. They're doing them last. Maybe they did a switch last minute. I'm not sure. Yeah, they'll do a tribute for I don't have to get, I don't get the whole Nomad Land craze. It was a good movie, but not my fave. I think Ryan, you're in that. I same agree. Book. I mean, it's a good movie. Don't know which of these two terrific actors will win Best Actor: Anthony Hopkins or Chadwick Boseman. I'm still going with Boseman. Um, Gary Oldman should win for Mank for Best Actor for me. Um, her voice is shaking. Yeah, it's you know she just won. Did Trial win any awards? Nope, it has not. God, no, Irishment. it hasn't. So, right, let's wrap this up for sure. Mulligan and Bozeman are my picks. Ryan, who are your two picks? Oh, uh, actor Chadwick, actress Carrie Mulligan. So same as Jacob there. Um, all right, I guess we'll find out here in a matter of seconds. I'm sure they're taking a quick break as it's already past 11 o'clock. So, yeah, yeah. just my biggest issue always is the comedy. Yeah, a really bad comedy. Right. They're definitely going to do best actor last. I think they're doing it for a reason, guys. Right. Yeah, it's always it's for best a reason. I think Chadwick won. And so they're doing a really good tribute for him. It would be like a posthumous Oscar. Right. It's a posthumous Oscar. The last one was Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. Yeah, so they're they're doing this last for a reason, I feel like. so. If I see those people, I swear to God, saying Chadwick only won because he died, I am saying fuck you, fuck you to every single comment on Twitter. <clears throat> right? I mean... I, I haven't seen him in the movie, so I don't know. Um, I don't think I'm the right person to... Chadwick was phenomenal in my but Anthony Hopkins was great too, though, right? Yeah, they were both great. Chadwick, Chadwick was my favorite performance of last year. Viola Davis or Frances McDormand are not far from behind. I have I have Viola Davis winning, so I don't know. I mean, I won't be surprised if Viola wins, but since uh, Promising Young Woman won screenplay, I think it could be a good direction for uh, Carrie Mulligan to win Best Actress. All righty, here we go. Here comes. It looks like Renee Zellweger. Final two categories. So it looks like they're doing actor first. Yep. Renee Zellweger for Judy one. Oh, actress. She's doing both. So maybe Joaquin. Oh, he's Joaquin is there. Sorry. He's in the starring. Does the actress does the actor. The actor does the actress. So they're doing it differently, I guess. That's weird. That's weird. It's nominated for bringing to life another of that great American playwrights. You should be doing that. That's interesting. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. You were luminous in that role, Viola. Andrew Day, it's hard to believe the United States versus Billie Holiday is your first major film role. Doesn't she, she look like Rhea, Whitney Houston? A young us Whitney us Houston? Was a survivor and a fighter. Right Her heart's racing right now. Vanessa Kirby. Doesn't she, Cody? What? She looks like a young Whitney woman. Houston. Oh, yeah. They did a Whitney Houston biopic. I think Andrew Day. Francis McDormand. Vanessa, Vanessa Kirby would be my personal choice. Performance in no you took us into a world hiding in plain sight. What if Francis McDormand wins? And we're just Ron. <laughs> you knew the risk you were taking with promising young woman. I won't be shocked if McDormand wins here. Yeah. Hmm. witty, and powerful. But Carrie would be my choice. And the Oscar for Best Actress. Here we go. Francis McDormand. Wow! I think I just said I would not Francis be McDormand. Francis McDormand. Three Oscars for Francis McDormand. Wow. 
Zachary, you got it. Wow. Wow. Look, they didn't ask me, but if they had, I would have said karaoke. Because when you got voices like Leslie and Marcus and you know, that we should have had a karaoke bar. Okay. Um, I have no words. My voice is in my sword. We know the sword is our work. And I like work. <laughs> thank you for knowing that and thanks for this Joaquin wow wow and Joker I'm shocked he made it <laughs> now he's gonna be in the next Ari Aster movie you didn't know that one I'm supposed to talk about uh, acting and specifically uh, the transformative moment when an actor discovers the character and fully embodies it. Uh, but I don't really know anything about that. I don't think I've ever really had that experience. So um, I think the only thing that I can say with sincerity is that when I uh, watch these five performances, I feel inspired, and it's a shame that we have to choose just one. So the nominees for actor are Anthony Hopkins, the father, Riz Ahmed, Sound of Metal, Chadwick Boseman, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Don't worry, one note should be there. No, don't worry, Lindo. Wow. Can't even speak right now. What do you even say to that, Cody? Wow. I'll let you take it. Speak, speak from the heart, Ryan. I, I think it's kind of disrespectful, if you ask me. I mean, nothing against Anthony Hopkins. He was phenomenal in The Father, but I, I, I'm i just, I mean, Chadwick was just phenomenal in Ma Rainey. And just, I think it would be the respectful way for the posthumous Oscar. Like, Hopkins is incredible in The Father. Don't get me wrong, but just... So Anthony Hopkins wins Best Actor and Frances McDormand wins Best Actress for Nomadland. Um, a lot of people said Anthony Hopkins could upset. And here we are. So why did they do the actors last? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I'm just confused all the way around. I mean, it seemed like they see 
like it seemed like they were doing actor last because maybe Chadwick won, so they wanted to. Yeah, uh, let's see what you guys are saying. I'm still really happy that Frances McDormand won. She was my favorite actress last year. I knew Sir Anthony Hopkins would win, but oh, a snub for Bozeman. That's heartbreaking. Super disrespectful. Oscars got no respect for the king. Um, dot, dot, dot. That's disrespectful of the Academy. Shirley, thank you for being with us. Take care. Um, why didn't they give it to Chadwick? The Academy liked Hopkins' performance more, I guess. Chadwick was snubbed and will never get the chance again. What happened? Oh, we just told you. Why didn't they save it for last if Chadwick didn't win? Exactly. That's the confusing part to me. It's really, really, really weird. Um, come on. It's not a bad win. Infinity War, it's not. It's not a bad win. Right? Anthony Hopkins was great. It's just Chadwick's never going to have that opportunity again. And Anthony Hopkins might. You know what I mean? So... <sighs> Yeah, um, Chadwick was robbed um, because they knew everyone would tune out once the award was announced. Ooh, that's a good point. What, what did he say? Because they knew everyone would leave if they found out Bozeman didn't win. It's a good point. That could be that could be a good point. That's a good point. It's a good point. Um, I love Anthony Hopkins, don't get me wrong. Ryan said the same thing. Um, I, the answer would be that the leading categories are hotly contested. It's true. I think that Hopkins winning was the right call. I'm not mad that Gary Oldman didn't win, and I'm confused that they didn't give an honorary Oscar separately. Bozeman, yeah. Um, Zachary got 18 out of 24. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Interesting take. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, guys. I'll, I'm I mean, just speechless, guys. I, I don't know how to end this off. Just that 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 kind of set things into interest in matters. But regardless, I'm happy for some of the winners. Um, some ones I disagreed with, but can't eh, can't can't be nothing happy. I can do about it. Nothing we can do about it. Movies are movies, and um, I think at the end of the day, though, we had a great time, right? Uh, we, we had a good time regardless. Thank you guys for being here, being here throughout the whole stream. If you were, thank you very much. Uh, spreading the likes, the subscribe button, uh, being part of the conversation, watching the Oscars with us. Uh, it was a blast. Great time, guys. If you haven't yet already, if you are new to the stream, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Ryan does movie content every week on his channel, um, movie reviews, rankings, all that. We do live Q&As with you guys to chat. Um, but it's getting late, so we got to head to bed soon ourselves, but this is a great time, and uh, Ryan, I'm going to let you end this one off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, all my social media links, they're in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take care, guys. Have a great night and a great week ahead, all right? Stay safe. Have a good week. Bye, guys. Thanks for being here.